sack a do. Sock it to me. <laughs> more shoe is not here. More shoe more shoe is 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 back. You know do you know as more and more people die, there's fewer people who are familiar with the comedy show laughing. And that's your grim fact for the day. <laughs> Live from Austin, Texas, with the first Zelda game we've ever played through on stream. It's true. It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Danny, is this going to really be the one we're going to play? Yeah, this is okay. the one. This is uh, Apparently, the series is still around. Some people still play it. They make one every few years, this, mm. uh, this Legend of Zelda. As far as I'm concerned, the series peaked on CDI. And somehow, in addition to avoiding playing all the Zelda games, we've also avoided playing <laughs> this particular one, even though we've played literally hundreds of other CDI games during our streams. So we finally got around to it. <laughs> Only took, like, uh, how many years we've been streaming? Oh, God. Uh. Let's not think about that. Yeah, let's not. <laughs> anyway, it's happening tonight. Zelda, The Wand of Gamelon for Philips CDI. The game you know and love. The game with uh, wondering what's for dinner and eating Octorox and uh, all sorts of other stuff. Please look forward to it. <laughs> Alex, why don't you thank some folks? Thank you to Polo Cat Fan for the 33 month resub hot take. The Zelda CDI games aren't that bad, especially considering the circumstances. Except Zelda's I like, adventure. I like them too. They're <laughs> I have a special place in my heart for them. They play pretty nicely and they're actual good games. Thank you. Thank you, no problems, for the 72-month resub. Holy fuck. Good. <laughs> Good. Thank you, Hoborg, for gifting a sub to the community. Welcome to the sub club, folks. And thank you to Sepasai1961 month resub. 61. 61. 61. Why? Why are you talking <laughs> like that? I don't know. Thank you, Yaddle, 45-month resub. What if Zelda visited the town with no name? I think it would go a little something like this. That would be awesome. I bet someone's done that YouTube poop. I want to see that. <laughs> thank you, Ultimo, for the 500 wand of Camelon good bits. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> More good bits, thank you. Oh, shit. Sepasai19 gifting five subs to the community. Thank you so much. Thank you for the gift subs, Sepasai. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Broken Scholar, 52-month resub. I want to be around. You will. You will. You're around. Hello. Welcome to Around. Hi. Thank you, 68K Heart, for the 42-month resub. Really do appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I can't wait until you get to one of these uh, <laughs> one of these these things in the feed, Alex. Thank you to Halibut Barn, 37-month resub, the CDI Zelda. Well, excuse me, Nintendo. <laughs> oh, my you. God, Nick Chaotix gifted 50 subs to the community. Yeah, I, I had to read that, like, 50 times, but apparently that, number, 50 is, times. that number is 50. There are 50 subs that were just gifted and to chat. And AI October just gifted 10 subs to the community holy shit thank you thank you so much nick chaotix God. and thank you ai october i, so I really much. appreciate it this is gonna be a special one i can feel it there, there's you. electricity in the air tonight thank you kabi tawari for the nice cozy 300 blanket bits thank you thank you <laughs> thank you cozy up for this one thank you osifer cats 14 month resub looking forward to seeing this classic horror game just in time for this poopy season <laughs> that's exactly what we're planning thank you and thank you nest wyoming 24 month resub that's two years thank you so much for the two-year resub two whole years of sub thank and you Last but not least, thank you so, so much to Magma Ram for the 100 Pride Bits. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Okay, wow. I think that's everyone. That's so many <laughs> gift subs. So much. Again, Nick Chaotix, AI October, thank you so much. Yes, yeah, seriously, Really, thank really you. appreciate it. So, Zelda, the Wand of Gamelon, we took it to our patrons. We said, you know what? We got, we got time to play through one of these this week. Just one. If you had to choose, should we play through Link Faces of Evil or Zelda Wand of Gamelon? Here's what the results look like in the year 2023. Long, long ago, Faces of Evil would have won this poll just based on the quality of the intro alone. But no, mm -hmm. people have really come around on the one that stars Zelda, Wand of Gamelon. So that's what we're playing tonight. Zelda, the Wand of Gamelon. Yeah. Released for Philips CDI in 1993, something like mm -hmm. that. Released on the same day as Faces of Evil. This is a, a twin duology series of gaming. If you play through both of these... Uh, 
you will have experienced some Supreme Gaming. I want to play through one of them tonight. Let's do it. Okay. Let's get half of a Supreme Gaming. All right. Thank you, Game Quarter, for the 60-month resub. Jeez, that's a lot. Thank you. That's five years? Thank you for the five years. Holy shit. That's a lot. All right. We're All doing right. it. If you could, scoot the window over a little bit so I can see it. Is that the better? Best. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank cool. you. And let me just do this. We're in here and for the long this. haul. We're going to be making save states because MAME occasionally crashes when it plays CDI okay, games. Okay. And save sh- sh- Shave state. Save state is shift F7 and then a number, yeah? Yeah, shave state is shift F7. Okay, shave your states, folks. <laughs> Always shave your states. Thank you, <laughs> Xkeeper, for the 100 good bits. Thank you, thank you. Good. Good. I'm just going to do the, the soundboard on my own. Okay. I'm my own soundboard today. You're you're a soundboard for the ages. Oh my god, Philip CDI. Only this time we're playing a game people might actually want to see. <laughs> Usually we just dig up whatever garbage is supported in MAME, but this time around I have some expectations to live up to. I've beaten this game long ago. I thought about doing a run through prior to this and making save states in advance, but then I played a few minutes and I was like, you know what? I enjoy this so much, I'm going to re-experience this for the first time in, like, the ten years since I played it last. So, this might be a little bit of a scuffed playthrough, but... Oh, you're right! You're right! The ping tubers are hiding! What the hell? I'm sorry! Oh, yeah! Where'd we go? We disappeared! Help! There we are! Okay. Hi! Okay, we're hiding. We're hiding behind funny little guy, which we're is We're ping tubers now. Hiding. We've joined the world of Gamelon, and we're yeah. going to meet our friends Morshu and Zelda and the King. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All the classic characters we know and love. <laughs> Ah, uh, jeez. I, I can't believe we're finally doing this. I think most people assume that we played this long, long ago, like in the Adventure Pals era, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. somehow we've avoided both of them. That ends tonight. Thank you, Alex. For the do-to-do? Yeah. You're welcome. Hope you all were standing for the National Anthem. Woo! Yeah! Animation magic, let's go! Folks, I'm not going to say it now, but hold on to your seats because an hour into the show, I'm going to drop a bomb about the closed bus stop. Oh my god. <laughs> so hold on to your hat. <laughs> we got a drama bomb. In when the game gets slow and it's time to reveal, I have a secret to reveal <laughs> that will shock you. Okay, I need focus. Okay, there you go. <laughs> let's learn how to play this game first. Okay. Let's get some help. Ganon's evil legions. I'll show you how. She's into it. Move the Triforce to pick a place on the map. Mm Mm-hmm. Then press button one. I'll fly there in a flash. Is that the lore? She flies there? She She doesn't even have a carpet. Okay. Like in Faces of Evil. Move me left or right. Move it up to make me jump or climb. Up and over makes me leap. Click what else can you do? Slash at the enemy. When you get the power sword, button one makes it shoot. Pew, pew. I crouch when you move the controller down. When I'm crouching, I can walk like this. It's easy. You could do the duck walk. I like that walk. To enter a door, move in front of it. Now press button two. Luckily, I brought my smart sword. It won't hurt anyone friendly. In <laughs> fact, it makes them talk. Of course I'm on your side, but I still have to sell the stuff. Just pick what you want. I'll handle the rubies. <laughs> when you want to buy something from the merchant shop, touch it with the sword. Everyone's just like this. The sword also picks up tools and rubies. Luckily, I have my magic pouch. I can carry as much as you want. To open the pouch, make me crouch down, and then press button two. Don't forget, I can only open the pouch when I'm crouching. To choose a tool, move the highlight and press a button. When you're back in the game, use the tool by pressing button two. Hey, don't bomb my shop. (laughs) The hell's your problem, lady? And you'll find that some tools need rubies before they'll work. It's quiet because the music will blow you away once it switches back to the map. This game is very poorly audio balanced. Oh yeah, let's. Well, I'll turn it up a bit so you guys can hear. Open new areas and continue your quest in Gamelon. There we go. 
Come on, let's go find Link and my father. All right, there we go. The Wand of Gamelon. Philips CDI. Philips themselves following up on the successful formula of Zelda 2 with uh, two new games. Two. One of which is this one. Oh, boy. I'm so excited. Me too, now, me too. Duke Onklet is under attack by the evil forces of Ganon. I'm going to Gamelon to aid him. But father, what if something happens to you? I'll take the Triforce of Courage to protect me. Normal animations. For me in a month, send Link. Ampa? Don't worry, Zelda. The Triforce of Wisdom promises the king will safely return. Enough. My ship sails in the morning. I wonder what's for dinner. Oh boy! I'm so hungry, I could eat an Octorok. They said all the things, back they to did. back. A whole month gone, and still no word. I'm certain he's all right. Huge hand. That old Ganon's no match for the king. Link, go to Gamelon and find my father. Great, I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. Jesus. <laughs> Even Alex is offended by this Link portrayal. Oh, all I could hear in my head was the sound of a million YouTube poops. <laughs> oh my, the Triforce says shit. Thank you, St. Aspartine, for giving us up to the community, and thank you, Bok Bok Bagok, for the 25 CDI will never die bits. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, Alex, where are we going first? Uh, first, we have to go to Aru Ainu. Okay. Give me my window back. Oh, God, sorry. <laughs> You give me control of this window, or so help me God, this stream will go off the rails. Aru Ainu, you say? Uh huh. Well, we have a very impressive map here. This is drawn in full color on the Philips CDI. There it is. Apparently, here we have to find some items or something. Go all the way down, then right, killing all enemies as you go, and take the rubies they leave behind, if any. Rubies, huh? And when you come to the tree, go up. Okay. Alex is reading a walkthrough to make sure I stay on task. So this is kind of a rarity, an action game on Philips CDI, a platformer even. This game controls kind of strangely, up jumps, uh, you have one sword button and one item use button. All right, go down there and kill that Dodongo and then take the key it leaves behind. Okay, we're killing the Dodongo. All right, let's go. We did it. See, this is just like every other Zelda game. I don't know why people complain about this one. This is also one of the puzzles of the game. You gotta figure out what are platforms in these beautifully drawn backgrounds. <laughs> the CDI is kind of unique because the backgrounds here, you'll notice, are not bitmapped pixel graphics. They're literally just paintings that uh, invisible platforms are uh, placed upon. Really kind of neat. You don't see this approach much in console games. Also, in the original version, uh, audio, the music is piped through the left speaker and sound effects are through the right. So right now I hear no music whatsoever. I only hear the sound effects. Oh, yeah, same. For you, for y'all's sake, uh, we crunch this down to mono so people don't enter the chat and be like, oh, my left ear is loving this. Oh, good, good. Anyway, it's time to talk to one of the many twisted All people right. of, of Gamelon. Uh, yeah, hit her with the sword. Everyone ran when the Gleok came, but monsters know better than bothering me. Here's a shroud that scares the raps off Gibdo. That's me right now. Oh, so comfy. Yeah. Thank you, Ultra Pancake. Ten month resub. I'm on pins and needles waiting for the pulse pounding bus stop drama. Okay. You <laughs> You'll know see. what? You'll see. You'll where see. Do, where You'll do we see. go next? Okay, next we are going to go to Sakato. Sakato, the windy city. Mm hmm. All right, why don't you drop a save state for me? All right. Shift F7 and then 1. Again, CDI emulation in MAME is spotty. This thing will crash. It will freeze. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to end our quest. Hmm, Cicado. Beautiful city. Except for all the goblins and pterodactyls. So all I right. guess we want to enter the shop and probably buy something. No, you're supposed to go right as far as you can, killing all the enemies as you see. Then go back to the left when you go to the first store, and then you go to the general store. Okay, you got it. 
be I get money first and then go to the store. How much money do I need? I don't know. It doesn't say. Uh, it says you need enough ru rupees to have at least one bomb, one lamp oil, and one rope. I don't know how much that is. Uh, we're going to be here for a little while, okay. so <laughs> why don't we all share our favorite memories of uh, Zelda the Wand of Gamelon? For most people, their most cherished memory will be when the angry video game nerd talked about this for the first time. Me and you, we saw this way before that Angry Video Game Nerd episode yes! because we used to have people come to our apartment and bring weird video game consoles mm -hmm. and stuff. Someone brought a CDI, or we had a CDI actually, and I would burn games for it, and that's how I first played all the way through this, and how a lot of people experienced this for the first time. All right. <laughs> I forgot about that. I think we get to keep our rubies. So there's a little bit of item collection and uh, purchasing power going on here. That was What's a better way to say that? I, shopping. I, I, shopping, I guess. <laughs> there's a little bit of purchasing power. Let's see how much money I got already. Let's. What can we buy from this guy? Hey, you. Of course I'm on your side, but I still have to sell the stuff. Just pick what you want. I'll handle the rubies. Uh, you should strike the Triforce. After I've bought everything? Uh, it says, talk to the shopkeeper, strike the Triforce, kill more enemies, repeat this until you have enough rubies to buy the bomb, the lamp, lamp etc. I think I actually do already, okay, so cool. let's go ahead and... Uh... But definitely strike the Triforce, it said. Yeah, that's the exit uh, oh, okay. to the level. Oh, I see, I see, I see. It's a little unintuitive, a little bit different from how the other Zeldas do it. Still the same basic structure and gameplay as uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Okay. We all can relate to this. All right, now uh, go to the right to the last hut in Sakato. Back to Sakato we go. Mm -hmm. I think it was. I think that was ours. Like it people, was ours. It people was yours. would bring stuff like Vectrixes and Jaguars and stuff, but the CDI was literally ours. <laughs> yeah, we had the digital video cartridge and everything. Uh, I don't think we can do anything in here Yeah, yet. there should be we a last a hut with a woman inside you need to talk to. Alright, let's find the last hut with the woman. I like how this plays. It's stupid. It's kind of clunky, but <laughs> it's at least consistent, and it plays way better than, like, 90% of other CDI games. Right, Much as I love the CDI. Uh, talk to her. Hello, dearie. Oh, just a minute. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? Bring some fairy dust and I'll make it a magic cloak. Oh, God. All right. Uh, leave and go to the shopkeeper. Okay. Back to the shopkeeper. Hey, you cut that out. What do I got to do with the shopkeeper? Uh, it doesn't say. It just says go to the shopkeeper. And I guess I guess exit through there. Yeah, it just says go and exit the shopkeeper and exit. Do you think there's enough enemies? No, you need more enemies. How do people live in this town? <laughs> it's there's like five people and fifty goblins. This doesn't work. How do you keep goblins out of your house at this point? Wait, those aren't even goblins. What are they? Probably some stupid Zelda enemy like a Garaya or something. Yeah. Boy, I'm rich now. So now we can exit. And mm -hmm. where do I head to next? Uh, Kopitan. Kopitan. Off we go. Why don't you save my game here? Basically, Zelda as an Amiga platformer, pretty much, this plays a whole lot like an Amiga game. It's the whole up-to-jump thing that does it, I think. Copatan. Mm -hmm. Beautiful peninsula you got here. You're gonna go up, then left, then down. Alex knows his way around Hyrule. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess Gamelon? <laughs> this yeah. isn't Hyrule. They all made up their own settings for this game for some reason. Look at this beautiful backdrop. They drew this little bridge over the place. All you right. couldn't do that with pixel graphics. You're going to want to follow that path to the hut, and then, and then when you get in the hut, you're going to want to... Okay, next hut. 
Some hut. There's the hut. Go in the hut. Pizza hut. Do the duck walk to get next to the enemy and then kill them for a key. I see. Here's the funny thing. You get three lives in this game and every time you hit continue, you basically st start from where you left off. And if you lose all three lives, you get sent back to the map, so it's no big deal. Mm -hmm. It's a very forgiving video game. Until it isn't, but <laughs> we'll get there. And then get the lantern. There you go. You got it. Or I got it. Uh, go back outside and go into the barn on the upper path. Let's go to the barn. Barn, barn, barn. They got horses in this universe? I guess they do. They didn't explain that before Ocarina of Time, though. Epona didn't exist yet. Unless she does. Maybe this is the, de the debut of Epona. Alright, you're gonna wanna go to the ride about eight steps. <laughs> that was that was seven steps. I, I should have gone eight. Excuse gone me. Eight. <laughs> that was my third life, so it kicked me kicked me back to the map. You still have your lantern? Because you're gonna need that for the barn. Oh yeah, I bet I do. Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, great. You're gonna once you get to the barn, you're gonna want to turn on the lantern. Who is that guy in there? Do you know him? Uh, it says it's a Batman wannabe. I don't know him. Whoa, that's some editorializing on the uh, the walkthrough's behalf. It is. Maybe the guy wasn't shooting for Batman. Maybe he's an original character. Yeah, maybe he's an OC. Hey, love the way enemies spawn in and just mm -hmm. sucker punch you. Okay, we're going to walk to the right eight units. And then use the lantern. Uh, I'm going to get killed first so I can respawn with all three hearts. Okay. So I don't waste my lantern oil. There you go. Kill that guy and get the key. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Bonk. Let me guess. Does it say to use a rope here? Uh, once inside, uh, no. Oh, yes, it does. It says use the rope to get the key. Okay. <laughs> well, luckily, I have the entire layout of this place memorized, so... I can just use one of these ropes, and we're good. Nice. We're moving on. We're moving up in the world. Okay, I want to move off my inventory items so I don't waste them. I remember that being a big problem. You can navigate in the dark, right? People have played Zelda Randomizer, it's the same deal. <laughs> All right, and then talk to the woman in the first house. So we have a key now, mm -hmm. so, so we can open there. up this house. Yeah. Oh boy, do I want to talk to you? This is just going to be someone who yells at me and is really weird and strange looking. She got that Shelly Duvall fit. She does! Alright, now we need to go back to Sakado. <clears throat> and buy more bombs, etc., it says. We need at least a minimum of 11 bombs. 11 bombs? Oh my god, alright. We'll need a little bit more lamp oil, too, probably. Do I have... No, I have two lamp oil, so we should be good on that front. So I need to buy three bombs. Bomb. Bomb. Uh, bomb. Bomb. Twelve. Nice! Okay, I'm gonna go back to the map and then you can save my game for me. Okay. This is a cooperative effort. Mm hmm Need as much help as I can get. <laughs> Was it supposed to be a child? It looked like a small woman. Alright, now we need to go to Ahitaru. There's Taikogi Tower. There it is. Uh -huh. Go far right. Look at these sand dunes. They're so nicely painted. <laughs> go to the far right and select the bombs in the entrance of the Victoria before you go in the cave. Okay. Am I on my third life? I may want to just lose this one and get a game over. I think I'm on my second life. Look, there's a moon. They have moons in Hyrule. Gamelon. We wouldn't know that until Majora's Mask. And that moon sucked! In here? 
Uh, yeah, you need to, um, before you go in the cave, select your bombs. Because you're going to need to use a bomb on the uh, giant crab. <laughs> I've been banned. You've been banned. Oh, shit. It's Goma. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Use your bomb okay. Immediately. I get you. Boof. Love the cartoon sound effects. Oh, thank you, the old man, and the cartman, and, and the cartman. Or the, the cartman. 100 pits each. Sorry, I missed that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, you got it? Mm hmm. Okay, uh, go up. Uh, go out the opening, climb to the top of the rocks, and go right. Jump over the Goma pit when you come to it, so it looks like a volcano, and then talk to the woman. This game is just talking to a series of women. That's not, that's not a complaint. This isn't a review. Yeah, I think nice that's the jump over the Goma pit. Thanks. Here, have a drink. Thanks. Hey, there's a fisherman trapped in the fish head. Really? Okay, you're gonna want to go. Yeah, and you're gonna see that see that boulder. Yeah. You're gonna want to bomb it ten times. Ten? It says use ten bombs on the boulder that's blocking the fish's eye. I remember this. It does make you use a ridiculous number of bombs to do this for some fucking reason. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. It was literally ten. <laughs> this fucking game. It, it's fun. There's an element of fun in using ten bombs. Why use one bomb when you can use ten? Who are you? Thanks. You saved me. That's the last time I'm going fishing. See you in Sakado. Which is where you need to go next. Okay. Get the key and go to Sakato. See you. Oh, we're meeting all kinds of friends on this journey. Save me. Sakato, huh? It's Kobitan. There we go. This building's open. I think uh, it was the you second go one. To the second house and then use the lantern. We're pretty good on money, too. Money is usually a huge problem in this game, but. Yeah. Go into the second house, use the lantern when necessary. Go up. Hey, hey! Keep you cut that out. And there's gonna be a door for you to go in. No. Okay. All right. We're good. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's go buy some more lamp oil. Okay. <laughs> this is occasionally a problem with the game. It's all right. We're here to enjoy ourselves mm -hmm. and buy lamp oil. Got fucking generated. Luckily, lamp oil is pretty cheap. Yeah. That's not so bad. My one complaint with this game is that the shopkeeper is not as good as the one in Faces of Evil. Morshu is is king. He's the best. This Morshu guy is a god. This guy, oh, he's alright. I don't know why his hair does want. that. I'll the rubies. <sighs> so many years of YouTube poop. So much culture Sorry, came from honey. this. Anyone seen uh, Hyrule dating videos? <laughs> No! What the fuck? <laughs> that was a uh, that was a YouTube poop ba made based on this. It's adult content gated on YouTube. You have to sign in to view it. That's sad. <laughs> oh, you take so many hits in this. Mm-hmm. And there's like a guy here. Yeah. It should let you get me from there. Let me get the guy. Here's another lamp oil. He's gonna hit me. Fucking. <laughs> this seems this seems evil. <laughs> this game is occasionally fucked up and evil. I like it. It's good. I'm not gonna say it's not evil. Okay, ignore the guy. Go to the door. There you go. We made it. And uh, get the sword and kill help, the Help! Help! <laughs> well, the bats killed you. You didn't tell me there were 10,000 bats. 
Let's get more lamp oil. <laughs> I I was not made aware that it would be twenty billion bats. Oh, by the way, avoid or kill the twenty billion bats. It should have said. <laughs> Yeah, 10,000 Bats is a good indie band. I watched The Mask the other day. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a strange movie to watch in 2023. <laughs> I think back then I really liked the parts where he was The Mask, but I hated the parts where he was just the guy. And now I'm the opposite. The Mask is kind of insufferable nowadays when he is himself. Stanley Ipkiss, though, he can get it. <laughs> okay, kill the Bats. Good luck. Ha ha! Nice! Who's the dumbass now? Okay, go back outside. Yeah, it really depends on how much you can tolerate Jim Carrey mugging, because that's just, <laughs> that's the whole movie. How much can you tolerate Jim Carrey mugging? Uh, I have less tolerance for that nowadays than I did back in the 90s. In the 90s, I had infinite tolerance for that. I'm pretty sure everyone did. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to get out of here without wasting the lamp oil. Let's see if I can do that. It's the entrance here. Hey, I found hey. it! Hey! Okay, so, you want to uh, go to the last... Go back into the last house. Go in, out the upper window. Last house. That's what it says. And you're gonna look for the upper window. I guess that's the upper window. All right. That's an exit, I guess. Uh, let's see, go out the upper window. Mm -hmm. And now we're on a different side of the town. Now you're gonna want to go into the first door to the right. No, no. We're good. Go through the other door. Is that I am mean? Let's just say yes. How? All right, funny joke. I'm all for jokes in games. That was a pretty good one. Seraphis Kane, thank you for the hundred bits. Do not go in there. Oh yeah, I remember that. All that right. was that was a catchphrase for a very long time. I'm here to ask you a question. That's one of my favorites. Anyway. <laughs> What are we doing in here? Uh, we're going to go up and get the Ar Arpagos egg. Oh, there was that lady who would do anything for an Arpagos egg. Yeah, so you gotta, you gotta provide. Hey lady, I'm your egg provider. Judge, jury, and egg executioner. Oh boy. Leave the jokes to the professionals. That's fair. Are these Arpagas? Is that why they're attacking me? I think so. I think you're getting their baby. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we do have the Zelda Power Sword now. Except it only works when you have maximum health. And I got annihilated. I got freaking annihilated. I got fucking killed. Let's girl. try that again. Could you <laughs> stop killing Zelda? <laughs> She's nice! Can we get some kind of, uh, <laughs> organized protection against the monsters that are attacking the city? Not like police, I mean like, maybe the mob. Damn it! I'm sorry, I'm just seeing, like, a, a soprano set in, in Hyrule, and it's so good. Yeah, only they're all elves. Yes, oh my god. Marshu would be Marshu would be uh, Tony Soprano. He would be a, a capo. You're right. You're right. Marshu's a made man for sure. Absolutely. Hey, you come in here and don't tank every projectile. You do it. Maybe I like tanking every projectile. Maybe they taste good. You think about that? All right, this guy's gonna tab me in the ass. Here we go. All right, here comes the Arpagus climb. All right, everyone wish Danny luck. Nice. Maybe if I... Oh, there's a spot you can fall down there. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Jesus Christ! There should be an internal counter of how many things these things you kill, and it should be possible to kill the entire flock. 
They should have thought of that. Welcome to Game Design with Danny. If you're gonna make your players get killed by birds, they should at least be able to kill the entire flock. How do I get up here? Do I need to use a freaking... I think I need to use a freaking rope, probably. It doesn't mention, yeah, maybe. They help. Are those platforms over there? Yes. There it is! Ah! Egg. Uh, go back outside and then uh, go right into the last building and talk to the blacksmith, a.k.a. the fisherman. Okay. Let me let the cat out. Alex is going to let the cat out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're making progress. We might actually do this in one stream. That's the dream. I hope this doesn't turn into a week-long playthrough. A week of Zelda. No! Um... I'm guessing I go somewhere else. <laughs> that looked dangerous, that place I was just okay. in. Okay, uh, you want to go it right into the last building, it says. Or that building right there. You got it. And talk to them. Look, I got a new job. Hey, bring a heat crystal. I'll fix up your sword. This guy's got leather-ass skin. Well, he was a fisherman. What did he say to give him? I, I literally didn't have my headphones and I didn't hear it. Look, I got a new job. Hey, bring a heat crystal. I'll fix up your sword. Need a heat crystal, it sounds like. Okay, you're going to want to go back outside. And hey, can I stand here? Can, do I, is this bothering you? Can I just observe you as you work? He seems fine. Yeah. All right, we're back outside. You want to go to the left? into the crypt, which is a small opening marked with the cross. The dangerous looking place. Mm -hmm. And get killed in here, probably. Use the bomb on the skull. <laughs> well, what if I just died? <laughs> this game's so funny. People who grew up with the CDI have a pretty funny idea of what games are, I guess. Mm-hmm. All right, now go in there and do this thing, and then I just explode <laughs> every single time. <laughs> All right, we go to the last building, we go in the window, we don't got to do the Arpagos Arca egg, at least. Oh, we got to do egg delivery. Let's turn it into a big pain in the ass. Egg delivery! Hey, we got your big ass egg. Back to the crypt, where we're going to die again, probably. You know, anonymous people made remakes of these games. Complete Windows compatible remakes that control better, and uh, they have subtitles. You're gonna want to bomb that. Okay. I I was tempted to play through one of the remakes, but I wanted the original experience to be preserved on stream. You're gonna go down the stairs and go left as far as you can. Cool crypt. And then go up to get the key. Oh, I see. I see. We'll retry that. Now I can shoot. Pew, pew, pew. Key. Key received. God, this game's so good. So many memories are coming flooding back. I spent a long time trying to beat this the first time. Where to now, boss? All right, you're gonna wanna um, go back outside and go into the church. Huge double doors to your right, and then go up top using ropes and use the green shout shroud and on Gibbo. Shall rise. This guy. And the living shall be their slaves. She must be stopped. Okay, here we're gonna need lamp oil. Oh, I don't know if we have enough ropes. If not, I can just get killed in here. Yeah. Oh, there was an actual organ in here making that music. All right. 
Yeah, yeah, we need multiple ropes to get up here. We gotta, we gotta head on back. I have the money, it's just a matter of going there. Do I have the money? Yeah, I do. You definitely do, yeah. This is kind of a Hyrule economy simulator, if you think about it. I'm thinking about it. Fuck. Gamelon, damn it! <laughs> I keep making that mistake. It's a Camelon uh, economic simulator. It's like Wall Street Kid. Eventually you do become more powerful. You get more uh, hearts and stuff. Where are you going? I'm trying to go back to the front of the village where the, the shop is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go all the way to the left. There's like a window I jumped yeah, through? Is this window. it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay. Using some lateral thinking here. I don't play PC adventure games. This is what I think lateral thinking means. Mm -hmm. Going through a window. Boy, getting the Deathless run in this would be hell. Because things just teleport in and start pelting you. Oh, I don't know. That would be a pretty good thing to have on my gamer resume. Deathless Wand of Gamelon. Okay, what do we want? We want we want some rope. Lamp oil. Rope. Bombs. You want it? It's yours, my friend. You should get more rope. Go crazy. <laughs> Splurge. Treat good, yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a bomb while I'm here, too. And some more rope. I'm this guy's best customer. He should treat me better. You really are. He should give you discounts. Yeah, I agree. Give me that bulk rope discount. <laughs> Don't ask what I'm using it for. All right, we got three lives. I can get tank my way through this. Back of the village. Through the window. Into the... Not the crypt. We've been to the crypt. Mm -hmm. go to uh, the church. Hello, Brain Mouse. Welcome, Welcome to CDI. I can't believe how many hundreds of CDI games we played before we got to this one. I don't know what I was waiting for. <laughs> Just the right time. Wait for this game to call to me. The dead shall rise and the living shall be their slaves. She must be stopped. I really like that the mummy was playing the pipe organ. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna die. You know, <laughs> I'm just gonna take a death here so I get full health. Fair. Uh, mm, the menu said I had three lives, didn't it? Am I wrong? I think you were wrong. I think I was wrong. You I think I wrong. was. I think I got uh, Mandela affected. You did by your own brain. Don't you guys remember when I, I had three lives, but then I died <laughs> and it game over? It was just like Nelson Mandela dying in prison. Just like that. Alex, do you come from the Berenstain universe or the Berenstein universe? I come from... The Baron Stein's S T I N E universe. You ever hear about that one? Oh my God, that's that's crossing over with goosebumps. Yeah, we've gone through this lady's window like twenty times now. It's just like, oh, you kids and your quests. Uh, hmm. If there's something up here that can kill me, I will have wasted these uh, these essential items. But I need I need focus, Alex. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Get these ropes. But you can't be worried about losing stuff that can be lost. All you can do is move on. Eh? Eh? Oh, 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 oh! 
Uh, hang on, that's that's my really cool and not scared sound that I just made. We got him. What now? Uh, what now is uh, go back to Kobatan. You can also do something at True Toy Lake to uh, do some optional ruby grinding. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Kyrick, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, thank you. I also love Sour Goose and Rescue Cat. <laughs> is that my nickname now, Sour yeah, Goose? You're Sour Goose, honey. You said the next town to go to was... Uh, Kobatan. Okay, why don't you drop me a save, too? This game's got the jams. I can only hear them on the map screen, but <laughs> it does have Such jams. jams. What are we getting in Copatan? Uh, you're gonna go to the first house, talk to the woman, and get yourself a flute that you're gonna trade for the Arpagos egg. Oh yeah, this is where the lady who wanted the egg is. I can understand, I'm an egg fan too. You like egg? Yeah. yeah. Do you think she's gonna do it over easy or hard boiled? Oh, a big ass hard boiled egg? That sounds... I don't know. I, I feel like once hard-boiled eggs get to a certain size, they're disgusting. What if she melted it? What if she had melted you egg? You can't melt an egg! Says who? I learned that you couldn't do that because Google says you can and you cannot. <laughs> well, I'm going to melt an egg. No! Stop it! I'll anyway, show you. Talk to her. Get the tra do the trade. Ew! This will make a great omelet. Here. Omelet! Thanks. Leave and go to Washubi Swamp. <laughs> it turns out it was an omelet. We were right to have this discussion. Toot. I'm glad that she tested it out to make sure it was a real flute. <laughs> some some kind of swamp, eh? Yeah. What awaits us in Washubi Swamp, Alex? You need to go to the end of the swamp using ropes, bombs, and riding alligators. It's a long, hard trek, and then you're going to go into the house to talk to Grimbo. Oh, this looks like hell. Yeah, have fun. How many ropes do I have? I think we're well-stocked, at least. Yeah, you, you seem well-stocked. Check out my cool flute. Toot. I like your flute. I like it a lot. They got me doing some frogger shit over here. We need to play more Frogger games. There's many of them. <laughs> many of them that apply to Mascot Friday, even. Frogger the Great Quest is but the tip of the iceberg. Have you heard of My Frogger for Nintendo DS? No, I have not. We gotta play it. What if you had a Frogger of your very own? And it was like a weird robot or something. I'm bringing up all kinds of existential questions. Oh, all right. <laughs> Funny joke. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the the alligator gets tired of carrying you, carrying you at some point. You got to use a freaking rope. I don't trust it. I don't trust don't it. Trust Let me it? off. Let me off. Let me off this thing. Whew. I got generated to fuck. You got really generated, honey. You got, like, super generated? I turned half Scottish there for a second. I was generated to fuck. Life is like a hurricane here in Gamelon. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I gotta play this carefully. I gotta play mm -hmm. this like a smart gamer. Like the intelligent gamer? Mm-hmm. A good rebrand. What if there was an intelligent gamer? I don't think there is. I know, but but what if? I what know if I know was? we've spent many many years searching for the <laughs> intelligent gamer. What if there was intelligent life in gaming after all? What do you want to bet this little branch is a platform? I say yes. Good call. All right, go in and talk to Grimbo. Oh, wait, no, you have to keep on going. Oh, it's a two-part level. Sorry, Freaking, honey. I don't even get to meet Grimbo yet? No. Who the fuck is Grimbo? I don't know. Shit. Sorry. 
<laughs> Grimbo's Quest. It's my favorite C64 game. <laughs> okay, to get through this area, we need at least one rope. We got plenty of ropes. We're good. Ideally, the way you want to play through this, if you don't play through it on MAME or God help you on an original CDI, you want to play the fan-made remakes, which are both on Internet Archive. They're just Windows executables that have all the content of these original games. They're just cleaned up and much more playable. You should only play the originals if you're a psycho like me. But apparently, the people who made those, who ported those to, to Windows anonymously, they're making a brand new game in the style of Zelda CDI. Yeah, I saw it. With, so cool. With the weirdo cutscenes and the voice acting and everything. It's even got some of the original voice cast. Though Morshu couldn't join, unfortunately, as he has since passed. Sorry to deliver the news if you were unaware of Morshu. He was here for a good time, not a long time. Poor Morshu. All right, I got that segment. I got that segment down. He didn't have enough rupees. <laughs> oh. All right, what's the surprise point here? What's the gotcha point where the alligator drops you into the drink? It feels like every single scene has a surprise point where you're just going to die. It's kind of like I want to be the guy. <laughs> Found it. D -d 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 no! Hey! I hate this. I thought I was doing something good there, but then the alligator betrayed me. You know, I think I can make this... You know, I don't think I can make this jump. Have confidence. Okay! Ooh. No. Well, well, Danny struggles in the in the holy uh, shit <laughs> in Morshu's swamp. I think it's time. I think it's time. The the chat. It's been an hour, and it's time for All the right. big reveal. Are you ready for this? You're not gonna believe this, but I will post proof to the Discord after the stream. Okay, Alex. So, you know the bus stop that's closed. The bus stop that takes you that's like right in front of the the library right the one yeah. bus stop that I, I i love and i go to because it's the closest one yeah anyways i'm minding my own business playing a mobile game mm -hmm. and i get a little ad from a little company known as cat metro if you don't know what cat metro is they're the bus company in town ad is two parts first part says Go, and I'm paraphrasing, it says, visit the Seaholm District. That's where the library is. Okay. Second part says, take the 803 bus to get there. Do you want to know what bus stop is closed? Is it the 803? Not only is it the 803 bus stop, it's the 803 Seaholm bus stop. Oh they my were God. advertising the closed bus stop to me. On your mobile game. On my mobile game. I was advertised the closed bus stop. It's literally the 803 bus stop in the Seaholm district. Does advertising work? Just did. It... I can't get over it. <laughs> they spent money... To tell you to wrong tell information go, about a closed bus stop. To take a bus stop. to a bus stop that doesn't... To, bah! <laughs> <laughs> I have never been so specifically... When I looked for that bus stop, I talked like this. Yes! Sorry, I just, I'm, I'm a little heated here about it. I'm sorry, I just. Understandable. No! I, I'm okay, don't worry. Cause I saw the first part and, normal. and it was like, go to Sea Home District and I'm like, okay, you know, they, they may have paid for the ad before the stop was closed, but like, it's such an important bus stop that I'm so surprised. Like, it's just crazy to me. They should have a bus stop here so I don't have to go through the fucking swamp. They should! You should be able to ride the gators for free. My taxes here in Gamelon, which I guess I don't pay because I'm You're royalty from Hyrule. Yeah. Gamelon. <laughs> oh, yeah, welcome to Washubi Swamp. The Widowmaker, they call it. <laughs> 
looks like you should be able to. Yeah, right. Uh, anyway, like I was saying, it you should be able to. Do, 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 do. Okay, screen two. The hardest screen in any video game ever made. The Great Filter, they call this. Don't call yourself a Zelda fan unless you've gone through Shrek Swamp. Excuse me! What the fuck?! Video game, you wanna... Look, I'm gonna need your cooperation. What the hell? Well, this this is a this is a player game relationship here. Okay. We need to we need to cooperate. <laughs> we can't what just. What was that? I don't know. They're so mad at you for playing the game. They hate you for being good at the game. They're hating the player. I'm not hating the game. Yeah, yeah. See, see. Oh boy, this doesn't look good. This looks like death to me. It was death. <laughs> Spoilers. Spoiler. Okay, we have our magic sword. We have full health. We have armadillo bugs. We're aware of where some of the footholds are. Not all of them. It's fine. You have to stand up from a duck before you can jump. That's, That's something nice. important that I figured out. This bug is edge guarding this. <laughs> This platform, and I don't like it. Well, you're alive, aren't you? <laughs> Alex. Alex just exploded back from his chair in rage. I just, it's so mean. I didn't say this game was easy. <laughs> I want to go up. It's like this game is a, is a guy bugging you at a bar, and I want to just go up to him and be like, "Is this guy? Is this game bothering you? Is this game bothering you?" <laughs> like, you want me to handle this? I can handle this. Mm -hmm. God damn it, son of a bitch! Sorry, honey. I mean, ooh, that's some good gaming. I'm enjoying this gaming. This is fine gaming from the region of uh, the Norway. Dutchland. That's not Norway. That's, uh... That's... The CDI has taught me so much about Europe, and I've just forgotten You're it. You're thinking of the Netherlands. Yeah, the Netherlands. That's what I was trying to say. Norway. Dutchland. We jump here and miss the jump, but land on the log below. Mm -hmm. We wait for an alligator to pass by this way and this way. Get on the alligator. We ride the alligator. Get over here and make two jumps so that we may climb. And we do this and this and that. And nice, it's the easiest video too. game of all time. Good, good, good. Yeah, I'm afraid that Grimbo is going to be just a, just like not worth it. <laughs> this better be the best character in any video game I've ever seen. He better have so many frames of animation. His lips better be putrid. I want him to be zooming in and out. I want him to flail his arms around. I want him to tell tell us what he's going to have for dinner. Oh, good question. Would you like me to save state? No. Okay. Not yet. That's, Not a, yet, that's okay. a good idea. We do have that option, but I want to do this the right way. Oh, I get it now. Okay, you got it? No, we got this now. Okay. I get how that platform works. Okay, we got this now. The unfortunate thing about this game works, it not being sprite or tile-based means that it's much less obvious where the... Where the edges of platforms are, so that you may jump off some. Allow me to il illustrate in real time. It really feels like a different evolutionary branch, excuse the pun, of, uh, of video game development. Mm -hmm. Like, what if you couldn't tell where the platforms were all the time? Do you really need to know that information? It's like you're walking around in a drawing or a painting. Yeah. Like you're pulling a, a Where's Waldo or something. Yeah. Okay, so we drop down here directly. Yes. We jump over. New PB. Nice. That was sick. This is new PB territory. Okay. Okay. I see a log down there and a bunch of these alligators, so... I made the wrong decision. It's okay. You know now. <laughs> Do you think I could stand on the log? 
I think that's a standable log. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a standable log too. We'll okay. do that next time. What do you think Grimbo's gonna look like? Oh, I hope he's the most European mascot of all time. I think it's Flimbo's cousin. I want to meet Flimbo. I do too. I know he's been on stream before, but you know. We like could play it. the other ports of his games. You I'm out of ropes. ropes! I'm out of ropes! Oh, that's no good. <laughs> well, back to the, the Morshoe Swamp. <laughs> Flimbofication fetish. You want it? Um, The shop is in Kobe Tan, right? I think so. No, uh, it's in Sakadu. Gotta go back to Sakadu. Sakadu. Sock it to me. <laughs> Morshu is not here. Morshu Morshu is 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 back. You know do you know as more and more people die, there's fewer people who are familiar with the comedy show Laughing. And that's your grim fact for the day. <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying what we're all thinking. We're all thinking about laughing? Yeah. Okay. What year is it? It's like 1979 or something, right? I did see that the first episode of Turn On leaked. Did you see that, Danny? Oh, it's so bad. It's the worst show I've ever seen in my life. I it's have awesome. to watch it. I heard it was horrible. Uh, legend, according to Legend, <laughs> there was a TV show in the 60s that was so bad it was canceled halfway through its first episode. Like mm -hmm. the broadcasters pulled the plug. They were like, don't show us this anymore. And for years it was lost, and then suddenly it showed up on YouTube. And indeed is the worst thing I've ever seen. I gotta watch it! It's so horrible. It's like Billy and Bobby tier. No, don't say that shit. It's not Billy. I haven't seen it, but it's not Billy and Bobby tier. We wa we 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 watched Billy and Bobby last night. Not last night, but we Earlier watched Earlier this Billy. week on yeah. the Discord, we watched uh, Nintendo Quest as well as Billy and Bobby the Wacky Duo on Vacation. Neither of which are recommended by me. I love making people watch Nintendo Quest, though. Thank like, you. 30 more people have seen Nintendo Quest since last time. Thank you, WA59, for the Prime sub. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Oh, God. Welcome to the show. And, yeah, uh... We... Fuck! Cool. Hey! Well... All's well that ends well. Right, Sonic? Right, Tails! <laughs> no! I need to see Turn On really bad, because everyone's saying how bad it is, and I gotta know. You just steamrolled right over my hilarious Sonic Adventure bit. Sorry, honey. <laughs> I was Tails, you were Sonic. Remember that for next time. I can't do a Sonic voice. I can only do a Tails voice. Hey, hey! Okay, let me try. Hold on, I'm getting into the Sonic mindset here. Just give me a second. Still getting into the mindset. Okay. You cannot grapple up there. You need to ride an alligator. The the house is right there, Alex. I see it. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Oh, that's really bad. Who are you? It's Grimbo! Hmm. Aren't you a might puny to go up against Ganon? I'll do all right. That's the spirit. Bring some hand you spore if you want a bit more punch. That was worth it. Where do we go next? Go to the Hanyu Forest. We did it. We got through the freaking swamp. Alex, save me. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're gonna hate what's, what's next. It's like a really easy level where you don't have to work at all, right? Well, you're gonna go to the forest. Oh no, don't watch Turn On. Don't, watch don't do it! it. Okay. That's not fit for human We're consumption. Way... Okay, go right and go into the hole in the tree trunk at the end. Oh, this game's all about jumping from branches and going into tree holes. At least I'm getting a lot of rubies. More like Turn Off! That's what happened. Tim Conway was in that uh, first episode. He didn't look very happy to be there. He seemed pretty upset. Is 
Tim Conway, everyone knows, of course, as, as, a, dwarf. as TV's dwarf. Dorf was, was Dorf on TV? I always thought Dorf was only in direct-to-video video. No, videos. yeah, Dorf was directed to video. But the Dorf commercials were on TV, so I guess that does count as on TV. Yeah, as a kid, you were exposed to a lot of Dorf commercials. All right, Turned a lot of kids into Dorf addicts. God damn it! Killed you right at the hole! That's so mean! I love gaming. Gaming's great. Do you really love gaming? I love this kind of gaming. I don't know how gaming has evolved in the years since, and frankly, I'm not too interested. In the year 2525, gaming is still alive. I'm doing very badly here. Can I just not make this jump anymore? Did I run out of jump powder? I, I don't know. Video game. You're making me look like a damn fool on my own stream. Oh, if only I could run the video back a few. There we go. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's just very precise. This difficulty is Rayman esque, not for the faint of heart. We'll just drop. All right. We just we won't drop. Never you mind, then. How's the jams in this part? It's here. These are good jams. Oh, good. Game had talented people working on it. Musicians, artists, animators. <laughs> I like the animation as insane as it is. It's, I, that's a good word to describe it, insane. It, it It is maddening, to say the least, but it's it's nice to, you know, have something different in this world of ours. That's true, it is different. All right, go in the hole. Nice. In the hole. All right, work your way down to the lower left corner as far down as you can get and go right. I think that's as far down as you can get, yeah. Right. He tricked me. Get up, up. <laughs> no, 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 no. You notice how all these guys patrol around left to right? That mm -hmm. one guy just chose to overlap on my sprite and did not move. He knew the strats. Who's keeping track of deaths? That's uh, 60, 70 <laughs> maybe. 36, okay, that sounds about right actually. Jumping kind of unwieldy in this game. Even worse on an original controller, but even in the best of circumstances, your, con your jumps are not very predictable. Just striking out at everything around me. Zelda vents her anger on the forest. <laughs> All the way to the left and down, and then we go to the right. Kill this guy. Kill, kill this guy. That spawns a guy behind you, which is cool. And then get that uh, spore. Got it. All right. Uh, go right and talk to the woman. Okay. Okay, uh, actually, jump onto the upper path and then go right. Okay. You rat bastard! <laughs> I expected him to continue p to patrol, and instead he just homed in on me. These creatures are wily. This advanced, they really are. This advanced CDI AI. You notice this is a Zelda game and you primarily spend your time talking to women? Yeah! That is interesting. Anyway, talk to her. Come here, you. Greetings, 
means, Princess Zelda? Do you have any Arpa ghost feathers? Uh, go left and use a rope on the limb that has a rope hanging on it. Close and enough. And then uh, go back to go to right and go back to what should be swamp. And you have to talk to Grimbo one more time. Oh, that no! That was what I wanted to warn you about. No. Grimbo hasn't ended. Grimbo no. continues. So let me put in a save for you here. Honey. Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah, we're on save seven. <laughs> Going back to the swamp. We did unlock a new area, at least. Yeah. I think. No, I saw it. I saw it. I just don't know where it is. Oh, a VTuber animated like these characters. You'd need 50,000 frames of animation. That is more than any ping tuber app can support. Well, good thing we're good at this area already. Mm -hmm. yeah. No? Yes. Use a rope. Rope time. You notice I'm just projecting my gamer thoughts now instead of offering actual commentary. That's fine. I'm just like, rope, lamp oil, bombs. You're just Morshu now. <laughs> this game Morshu turns five. you into Morshu. <laughs> I'm okay with that. People like Morshu. He's a beloved figure. We love Morshu. I think Nintendo should pay tribute to uh, Morshu in the next Zelda. Like an in memoriam? Yeah. <laughs> like at the Oscars. I agree. <laughs> the Nintendo Academy Awards. Oh wow, looks like Mario took home best actor again. <laughs> Big fucking <laughs> Big fucking surprise. Oh. I was making a bullet hell for those guys. Are we really a death 38? That's cool. <laughs> I'll make more. It's always room for death. I don't. Okay, let's just spawn in 12,000 enemies. The sm do you see what happened there? Yeah. You cut your jump short if you swing your sword in midair, and I saw an enemy, panicked, hit the sword, landed right in the swamp. Zelda was covered in poisonous swamp water. She hated it. Duh! What the? Don't worry about it. <laughs> why? Why, God, why? I'm sorry, honey. What kind of kind, caring God would do this? I love this game. You ever see a flock of birds just heading right to your face? And you just think, oh, God. Yeah. It's called being at the zoo. You're the you, you poor thing. You just birds really hate the you. shit out of me. I think they love you actually. They're like, oh boy, Danny. Time to bite and shit. They love to eat my flesh. <laughs> the birds are all biting and shitting on you like Biden's dog. Wow, all right. I'm sorry. I'm Glad sorry. we're getting political. No, I'm sorry to get political. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Call me Biden's dog. Well, it's just, That's the worst thing you've ever called me on stream. It's just funny that this dog keeps shitting and biting. I think that's so cool. Socks the cat never got into anything like that. Did you play his video game? I did! And he literally clawed Richard Nixon in the ball. So I think I think we know who is the superior animal here. And he shredded that one guy. Yeah, he shredded Ollie North. I'm glad you remembered his name. I was going to be like that one Call of Duty war criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, please don't forget. I am, I am, I am Gulf War One pill. So <laughs> This is the hardest game ever made. It is, and it pisses me off. Ghosts and Goblins could go to hell. This is the new hardest video game. You're, ne you're never going to 
getting past this. These are all red armors and they're all pissed at you. <laughs> you gotta have momentum. This isn't Ghosts and Goblins, it's Ninja Gaiden. This is a momentum game. God is dead. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Tonight on RetroVals, God is dead. It's official. We have a press release from the Pope himself. The Pope is watching RetroVals and is just like, uh-uh, not anymore. This is how I'm announcing the, the big news. <laughs> big news, everybody! <laughs> Due to Grimbo. Okay, get on the log. Kill those freaks. Bad freaks, not good freaks. Freaks, pejorative. Okay, whatever, birds. Yeah, just, just spawn wherever you want. Talk to Grimbo, and then you're fucking done with Grimbo. All right, Grimbo. You, this is, it mentions don't you won't have to go back. Hey. <laughs> don't worry. Here. A power glove. Great. I got a power glove. All right, get out of here and go to the fairy pool. You don't got have it. to do the swamp ever again. Thank God. Swamp is dead. Swamp, swamp is dead. Killed. We killed the swamp. Save me, save me, game. Okay, save me, game. I'm turning into Popeye over here. All right, the fairy place was is. right here. You're gonna want to go to the right, kill the three witches. You can use the rope to get the last we witch. Have and the fountain of life. Oh, that was good. We have made evil. Let's bring the darkness down. They did. All right. Uh, you can use a lantern. You can also, yeah, go go to the right, kill the three witches, and you can use a rope to get up. Okay. I mean, they're just minding their own business. I know, I feel the same way. They're having a little witch circle out here. Just doing their thing. Are you kidding me? That's what it... <laughs> Fine. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Ga wow, game fact! Okay, good news. It didn't waste the ropes. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, this is Hocus Pocus 3. Let me guess, by all the way to the right, did he mean all the way to the left? I sure did. That has happened in countless game facts that I've read, and it makes me so fucking mad. There is nothing that makes me madder than people mixing up right and left. Thank you, Cactus B, for the raid! We are playing what? Zelda, the Wand of Gamelon. We, you missed out on the evil swamp that we had to deal with. <laughs> we, we did the swamp like 50 times. Thanks for the raid. Swamp. Hope you had a good stream. What were you up to? So one of the witches stays dead. We need to overcome the shroud of darkness that's been cast on this uh, mm -hmm. beloved swamp. Oh, you're playing random DOS games on Archive? That rules. Instant death! It's instant death! Gah! <laughs> Feeling okay, honey? No! I'm going yeah. feral over here! Going feral over how much I love this video game. 44 deaths! Can we make it an even 100 tonight? It'll take a while, but I'll get there. Okay, don't get hit. Whatever you do, do not get hit. And then this is the lady where you use the ropes. Alex, I don't want to unpause. I don't want to unpause! <laughs> I don't... I don't want to unpause the game. Can we just say that I've won the game? Can I just... Da, 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 da. Sorry. <laughs> What's our situation? We got three lamp oil. We got three ropes. We can probably still do this. We can do this. You can two do this, you two of the three witchin are dead. Mm -hmm. yeah, all we gotta do is climb up there. Is that what the witcher does? He kills witches? Yeah. I'm not too familiar with The Witcher. I just know there was a, a survey sent to me via email that called him like a pest exterminator. Yeah, that that's was what weird. his that's what his job would be yeah, in the real world. I don't I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> All right, we're doing this in the dark. Pretend this is LTPP randomizer. Okay. We don't have a lantern. We got to go through uh, Eastern Palace. I'll use the fucking lantern. I'm not gonna be fancy. Okay. One witch left. We need a rope to get there. We need to bait out a shot so she doesn't shoot us the second we climb up. Come on, shoot. She shoots twice! <laughs> she shoots twice. This is our last chance. We have no more lamp oil. We have one last rope. Can we do it? Please. Does hope prevail when all seems at its darkest? When belief in the power of humankind has waned, one Zelda can do the thing. Nice! Good. Now talk to fairies. We're free. You saved us. Here's a life heart and some fairy dust. Ooh, Ooh for later. We got an extra heart. That is the hardest earned oh, heart hooray. container I have ever experienced in a Zelda game. We still have a rope here. Yeah, I saw you go up there for a second. Here you go. Get out of here and go back to Sakato. You got it. I need to stock up on some stuff yeah, anyways. Save, save me, please. Oof, what a game. It's a it's a steep challenge. It is. Sakato, you said? Yeah. Go back into the last house, talk to the woman again. She'll take the fairy dust and make a purple magic cloak for you. Okay. Could probably stand to stock up on some items Yeah, as well. you should get more rope and, and oil. I did it, though. Yeah, yeah, I'm really proud of you. Thank you. How far are we into the game? Uh, we are about halfway through... Oh, Alex. Hmm. Oh, Alex. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know how else to know how long we're You can scroll without clicking. I just... Ideally, we would have a separate computer set up for this. So we would have two computers, one with a walkthrough. Oh my god, that's a shit ton of money. Alright, we're rolling in it now. Let's go back to our friend. Hey, we got some fairy dust. Thanks, psycho lady. Alright, get out of here and go to the Gokiyan ship. Okay. I'm gonna go on a shopping spree first. Good, good. Alright, so I'm gonna grind for like one minute. I think that should be enough. Everyone present your thoughts on this game. Is it the greatest game ever made or the second greatest game ever made after uh, Link the Faces of Evil? Uh, chat says good, good game. Yeah, yeah. It is game. It is game. It is game. I enjoy it because as much as you die in this, you never lose much progress. And there is actually a save game feature built into this game. So you can come back to it later. Even at its worst, you don't necessarily need save states to beat this. It is quote-unquote playable. It depends on your <laughs> tolerance for jank, I suppose. Me, I mean, I'm, I'm me, so I've played thousands of janky games. This is normal to me. This is a regular video game to me. To me, it's Berenstain Bears, not Berenstain Bears. And in my universe, Zelda was the boy and Link was the girl. What do you think of that? I... I think that's fine. Like, that's fine. Are you offended? No! Does that anger you? No! No! I'm not angered by anything except the stupid swamp that I hate! <laughs> that swamp sucked ass. That swamp is dead to me! <laughs> Fucking swamp. So glad we never have to go back there. Some people would prefer if Link was a girl. I think, I think you're right. 
So we're good on bombs, actually. We just need lamp oil and a rope. Yeah. So let's buy three of these. Nice. Three of these. There you go. Four of them, actually. That looks good. Uh, five. Okay. <laughs> I know how many times I'm going to die in dark rooms. Okay. Moving on. Go to the Gurian ship. Go to the right as far as you can, then go down and to the right. Okay. <clears throat> I wonder if this game's platforming is significantly tougher than Faces of Evil. This feels <laughs> this feels harder than I remember, but it has been a long time. Uh, the thing spitting at you, uh, toss a bomb at it. It's a Zola. It's a Zola. Poof. All right. Ride the alligators over to the ship. Enter the hole in the side of the ship. Okay. We wait. Hmm, okay. Yeah, there you go. I gotta get on the second alligator. Mm -hmm. Now this is some frogger shit. I'm gonna describe everything I hate as frogger shit. Phew. All right, go up to the door in the mast. I see it. Thank you for the assistance, Alex. No problem. This would be a much more pain in the ass playthrough without your guidance. Okay, uh, go up as high as you can and get the Arpagos feather and key. Okay. What'd the Arpagos ever do to us that half of our quest items are shit that belongs to them? Yeah, it's like the only creature the animation magic people remembered existed. I don't want to risk taking that rope. <laughs> I don't have to. Nice. All right, let's play Find the Platform. Is it here? Is it there? Can I do this? All right, um, and then get the key. You got it. Go back down and out of the mast. Whee! Thought I'd die there, wouldn't you? Yeah, I did. Go right. Okay. Go in the big steel door. I see it. It looks like a big steel door. And take the reflecting shield. All right, monsters. Any of you want to pop out and kill me instantly and make me do the whole area again? I'm right here. I have one heart. You could kill me. I'm really scared. Guess not. Nope, sorry. Now you're going to go back to the forest and talk to the woman again. Okay, save my game, please. <clears throat> uh, we ran out of uh, numbers. Go with Q. Q. Uh, where'd you say to go? Uh, to the Hanyu Forest. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Talk to the lady again. Don't know where she is. I think she's at the... Yeah. Well, it's not the swamp. Yeah, it's not the swamp. I'll take it. <laughs> Getting generated by stuff in this game is the most terrifying thing in the world. Can I jump this? No. Okay. Oh, we're about to hit the big 50. Are you excited? You gonna buy me a, a card that says over the hill? Yeah, I'm gonna get Grimbo on the line. <laughs> hey, Grimbo sucked. He brought nothing to the story. Gotta get momentum. <laughs> you think you know how this game works? Yes. See? Well, you're right.
If we were Zelda characters, who would we be? This is asking the chat. Because okay. I don't know Zelda. Yeah, who would Danny be? Who would I be? I'm going to say Alex is Tingle. Oh my god, I'm so Tingle. Alex is Tingle, yes. Doing good. Thank you. Oof. More shoe and tingle is us. Okay. <laughs> more shoe and tingle. I don't want to be more shoe. I'll be more shoe. You can be tingle. Well, now I want to be more shoe. Okay, well, there we go. Okay. Shit, I guess I'm more shoe. Sorry, you got to be more shoe. Hilda? Okay. All right, chat. Lamp oil, rope, bombs. You want it? I'm sorry. No. I can't sell this to you. I it's all mine. It. I'm, I'm keeping all the lamp oil for myself, okay. for my needs. Stop it! Stop that thing! I hate it! It's so mean! <laughs> See? You're getting into it, too. I am! It's so Every time mean. you get struck by an enemy in this, it's the worst thing in the world. Why are you doing this to my spouse? <laughs> this is torment. Should have played the remake, you fucker. Not you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was talking to the enemy. <laughs> this lady better be worth it. Dear God in heaven, help me. I'm I'm fucked. I am turbo fucked. She was right there. She was right there. She was right there. She watched me die right in front of her eyes. Mm -hmm. The big 50. We have reached 50 deaths. Somehow people are counting and somehow I've reached 50 deaths. Honestly, that sounds about right. I think I can probably beat this game in under 100 deaths. That doesn't sound too hard. My brain's doing. <laughs> My brain is turning into one of those sound effect CDs. Spooky sounds for haunted houses and Twitch streams. Ooh. Ooh. Clang, 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 clang. Ah, fuck, I got killed again. Hey, I'm Dracula. Okay, okay, but Twitch streams should have noise alerts that just go, hey, I'm Dracula. <laughs> also, haunted house noises should just say, hey, I'm Dracula. Got the whole freaking Hillian army after me. Sorry. The uh, Gamalonian army. Gamalonian army. What I wouldn't give to be fishing for the Hillian Loach right now. Instead, I'm off on this bullshit journey. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, Alex. All right, director's commentary. I went to the right and tried to look for a way down. Not finding a way down, I reversed course. I uh, ended up encountering, looked like 60, 70 enemies, all overlaid on top of each other, who all took my health simultaneously. And that's how that scene worked. Yeah. That's how we made movie magic. Gaming magic. Animation magic. <laughs> Greetings, Princess Zelda. Do you have any Arpagos feathers? <laughs> Good. Then let us make a cape from your shroud. Here, I must be off. Now it's extra cozy. All right, get out of here and go to Taikogi Tower. We're off to Taikogi Tower. Land of dreams. Land of... I please have a platform. We'll make one. Never mind, we won't. Oh, platforms. Oh, platforms, where are you? Dearest platforms. There you go. <laughs> Had to put a rope on a rope. Yeah. Fuck you, game. 
this is illegal, you know. Yeah, thank you. Where to now? Uh, the Taikogi Tower. Taikogi Tower. I assume it looks like some kind of tower. That way. Oh, the other? This way, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just tempted to scream save now. Go up and talk to Impa. Okay. Who's throwing rocks at Impa? Oh my! It looks like everyone's been taken to Taikogi Tower. This is illegal, you know. <laughs> my cakes will burn. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're we're watching that again. Oh my! <laughs> it looks like everyone's been taken to Taikogi Tower. This is illegal, you know. My cakes will burn. That's me. I'm the chef. My cakes will burn. Is that an Octorok? All right. Uh, go right. When you get to the tower, use the power glove on the... Um, on the boulder. Okay, you got it. Hang on. <laughs> I was so worried you were going to say you have to use ten bombs on the boulder. You do, but you could do that as well, but you don't have to. You can use the power glove. Instead. Okay. All right, good. Remember in the original Zelda when you had to use ten bombs to open the dungeon? Yeah, it sucked. Really inconvenient. You need rubies to operate the power glove. Is this, let me guess, is this something that the guy didn't say? No. <laughs> of course it didn't. What are the odds I can use? Oh, I, the, the damage to it is probably reset by now. Let me go ahead and go back in town. You're going to get some uh, bombs? Get some bombs, get some rubies. Just chill out. Okay. Just hang around. Hey, goblins, I need your rubies. <laughs> now in the guide, does it say you needed to use the power glove multiple times, or...? Uh, it says use the power glove on the boulder that's blocking the door. It okay. I think I'll try to get closer to it next time. Okay. This is illegal, you know. I like that line. That's a really good line. <clears throat> so the boulder, I would assume, takes ten bombs? Yeah, it says ten bombs or the glove. I don't trust the glove. Same. I don't. I don't trust the glove. I'm going to buy more bombs. And then when the glove doesn't work, I'm just going to toss ten bombs at the fucking thing. Okay. It's an epic quest. What would you do if Link was missing? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> you just stay back at the castle. Yep. None of my business. Camelon? I've never been there. Who cares? Call Luigi. Yeah, that's <laughs> let's call Luigi. He'll know what, what to do. Alright, we have 13 bombs, and I want to be sure we have at least 10 rubies. Actually, did it use 20? I don't remember. Let's save up. Also, in case this brilliant plan fails, we should save right before. I don't see it failing, though. Give me the good rubies. The the turquoise ones they drop occasionally are like five rubies. This is a nice break, you know. Usually during these streams we play like 50 games over the course of two hours. This is a treat for me. All 
All right. Back in the hole. Back in the hole. What a great piece of history this is. I'm so glad these games exist. Okay, this area we went to, Taikogi Tower. Mm -hmm. Why don't you drop a save for me? <laughs> Any more bus stop stories? No. No. I think sorry, Alec is that fresh was the last out. One. That um, was that was the stream's high point. The stream. This high point was sorry that the uh, as I said I got an ad for the bus stop that I've been bitching about being closed. That's still funny. Like the funny thing is I've never gotten an ad from from Cap Metro before. And I've certainly, and the ads that I've seen for Cat Metro, I've never seen them mention like, hey, go on this bus to go to this place. So it's just like, uh -huh. there you go. We did it. We kept our bombs even. Okay. Um, okay. Come on, hurry. It's awful. Mayor Cravendish has been chained in the tower. Oh, my cakes. Come see me in Sakado. We freed the baker. Okay. Talk to the chef. Take the key he leaves behind. Avoid the wall master's hands whenever possible. Use a rope on the ledge above you and keep going up until you reach the door. You got it. <laughs> that was me dying in real time. <laughs> What am I looking for? You are um, going up until you reach the door. Okay. You bastard. What do I do here? <laughs> Could a bomb fix this? Uh, it doesn't say. Cool. I think the play is to use a rope here. Yeah. And then one more rope. Oh, I guess you gotta go up those steps there. <laughs> you! Oh my god! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this game in a lake. <laughs> Alright, what's our supply situation? We don't have enough fucking ropes to get up there, so we gotta go back to town. Get some more ropes. That's okay. It's fine. We're contributing to Hyrule's economy. This is legal, you know. <laughs> yeah, we gotta throw this game in a lake. That's the only way to, to cleanse its evil. We're getting there. We'll beat this. I'm gonna beat this damn game. Good news is, we have a shit ton of bombs. My lakes will burn. Oh, I'm really excited to go back and check on the chef. I wonder what he has to say. Will he give us some free cakes? No. It was all over for him when YouTube poopers discovered that uh, they could make him say ass cakes. Oh, no. I haven't seen the YTP saying that. That's that's unfortunate for the chef. Yeah, I'm gonna take a death. Tactical. Mm -hmm. My ass maid will burn. No. No. I kind of appreciate the fact that these ropes let you skip some of the platforming. That's kind of neat. As for the rest of the game. <laughs> 
it's pretty questionable, but I like that at least. Totally. Okay, we're in good shape, actually. Okay, go up. There's a guy here. Yeah. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Free. Well, okay. Yeah. Uh, you dare defy me? You will die. Use the uh, power glove on knuckle. him. Power glove, you say? That's what it says. Okay. This is Iron Knuckle. He's in the video games. That was fast. He's dead. Let's get out of here. <laughs> we've eaten his heart and we've gained power. Okay, go to the red door and then talk to Mayor Cravendish. Let's get out of here. Oh, that's the mayor, that guy. Yeah. The one who said this was illegal, you know. Which is really funny. That is such a really good line. Oh, the indignity. Please, your highness, would you kindly cut the chains that bind me? Ball sack nose. Anyways, a uh, jump and cut. There oh, you go. the indignity. Please, your highness, would you kindly cut the chains that bind me? Ouch! <laughs> Thank you, princess. I managed to conceal this magic lantern. I hope it can be of use. Probably. All right. Uh... Get out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. And next you're going to go to Door Dong Cave. Door Dong Cave. Where did he hide it? How did he conceal the magic lantern? I don't know. Save me. Uh, running out. <laughs> yeah, we're running out of letters. Door Dong Cave. And then go left as far as you can. What a magnificently drawn... That's a pit! That's a pit! Forget it. Forget what I was about to say. I was about to compliment this game and then... Took a diarrhea dump all over me. Climbing tree climb trees when necessary. Drop down and go into the cave lower left corner. <laughs> These Dodongos are... These Dodongos are eating my lunch. They sure are, babe. 62 deaths! 62 wins! And counting. Full of goo. <laughs> I'm not full of anything. I'm full of blood. And water and meat and <laughs> calcium. Some marrow probably in there. Got some guts. There you go. Interesting platforming challenge here. Alright, get into that cave. You got it. In the cave. Alright, go up using ropes and use a bomb or your sword on the glee lock. Okay. That would have been cool if I killed it, though. <laughs> Let's not try and kill it. That one, that one can stay. He's yeah. fine. He's not hurting anyone.
I'm being myrtleized in here. You are being real myrtleized. Phew, okay. I wonder if I can use the rope from down here. Also, this is the last one I have. Hey, okay. Hey. <laughs> this is a cruel joke. This game is just a funny joke for all the gamers out there. may be a rope situation. It is, yeah. I'm out of here. I quit. You quit? Oh, yeah. Kill me. <laughs> kill me so I can teleport out of here. We're always running out of ropes. It's true in real life. You never have enough rope when you need it. Yeah, I'm always running out of ropes. Door Dung Cave? Yeah. Why do you want to go there? Mm -hmm. Ask the fact writer. I didn't, I didn't make you go there. <laughs> this is essential, though. We're delivering the original experience as Philip CDI owners would have experienced it. We're telling hard truths. This is hard basically a, a gaming news program. Investigative journalism. I'm great. I'm, feel, great. I'm feeling. I'm feeling good about this. Do you think we'll have to split this up into Friday? <laughs> what time have we got right now? It's uh, almost nine. Okay. And how much game do we have left? Uh. Okay. Take a look at the screen. Yeah. This is how much we have left? Oh, that's quite a lot. Yeah. I thought this would be a one-stream game. How about we do the next objective and then we okay. split this up? Yeah. Damn, I was hoping we could do this in a one-shot. But this game is actually quite lengthy, it turns out. But the long play was only 20 minutes long. Well, the long player didn't have swamp gas. <laughs> or whatever happened to us in the swamp. The swamp, we were like a crazy bear sitting on a toilet lost in a swamp. <laughs> exactly. That was us, and it made us lose a lot of time. Oh, how often I've heard people say that about me. They're always like, Danny, get out of the swamp. You're lost. You're, you're on like, the toilet. You're, you're crazy like one of those bear. toilet bears in the swamp. Do you think the Charmin bears live in a swamp? Do you think that's what he was talking about? <laughs> those bears a lot. I think they're pretty cool. <laughs> the Charmin bears. Yeah, what, what, what's wrong? For those, for those who don't know, there's an American mascot for a brand of toilet paper. Uh, the, the, the key element in each of the commercials is that the bears are cheekily wiping their asses in the forest. That's why America is the way it is. <laughs> they look so happy. Yeah, those bears love to shit. They really do. They're always making jokes about it. I have... Danny, the bears are still around. You can still encounter the bears, like, on t television, if you watch television. Okay, this is huge. Okay. I kept the power sword. Okay, good. We have plenty of lamp oil and plenty um, of rope. We're almost at level 69. I mean, death 69. <laughs> it's kind of like leveling up. All right. No, I gotta say, the Charmin bears are well animated for being a bunch of toilet bears. Like, like, no, I don't even mean that as a negative. I actually find them to be really appealing and charming. It's just that the... I would love to be a toilet bear. Maybe I would. I don't know. It's a weird world out there. Who's to say what the future holds for us? Yeah. Maybe I'll turn into a toilet bear one of these days. It's like... I'm not even like... like the, the thing about the Charmin is just it's just funny that, like... They were just like, fuck it, we're gonna we're gonna give ourselves shitting bears as a mascot. <laughs> yeah, they're CGI now. They are? Yeah, but they don't look that bad. They look alright. They don't look that bad. They look good. Mm, I, I promise you, they're not it's it's not that bad. I don't know about this. 
You've promised me before that shitting bears weren't that bad. And then you went to the zoo and a bear shit on you. Yeah! Okay, okay, okay. Bomb or sword on Gleok. You got it. What the? Okay. Get the crystal. We outie. That's it. Save me. Shift. F7, what should I use for the save? Uh, Z. Z. Zelda's choice. <laughs> oh my fucking god, this game. You know, I remembered playing through this and just having a wonderful time being like, wow, what a great video game. It goes down smooth. This presents no challenge to me whatsoever. This is just a nice, great video game from beginning to end. I've returned to it to see that it is actually a flesh-rending monster from hell. So we need to split the stream up. Tune in again Friday, 8 p.m. Central, as we challenge the conclusion of Zelda The Wand of Gamelon for Philips CDI. It's so big, it can only be contained by two streams. We can't do it in one. We can't. No. It's got to be two. So make sure to, to tune in for the conclusion. What happened to the, the fisherman? What happened to the, the, the chef with his ass cakes? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? We'll, we'll have to see on Friday. Hi, everyone. It's Retro Pals. This is part, part two of our... Zelda the Wand of Gamelon playthrough. Oh my god, we gotta finish this up. <laughs> I've been thinking about this all week. This game turned into a, a real ordeal. I remember this being a real short, real easy breezy playthrough. It is not! It's kind of, uh, it's kind of hell. It's a special kind of hell. But it's the hell that I enjoy, and it's the hell that we're all gonna live through and uh, be stronger for, so that's a good way of looking at it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. All right, Alex, why don't you thank some folks? All right, thank you to Revenger of Vengeance, 19-month resub with Prime. Thank you so much. Thank you for the many months. Thank you, Celtabe9091, for the six-month resub. Is this the part where... Is this the part of the alert where I say good and everyone has a hearty laugh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. There you go. You got thank what you, you wanted. <laughs> thank you, Cinco Play, 14-month resub. Medium lucky anniversary number 14. Thank you, thank you, thank Hell you. Hell yeah, let's go. Thank you, Scratching Away, 39-month resub. Welcome, welcome, and thank you for the resub. Yeah, welcome. Thank you. And thank you, Bioforce Grape, 4-month resub, and a hearty Kermit H back to you. Kermit H to all. And a very nice resub with from Uzi with a 69-month resub. It's Friday night. No, oh, it's the big 69. Nice timing. Nice timing. Thank you, Sailor Soapbox, for the 16-month resub. Did you hear that? Somebody stole Satan's hair. PC's pretty mad and is searching for the culprit. When he finds them, there's going to be hell to pay. Oh, my God. Boo. Well, you sub, so we'll allow it. Thank yes. you. And thank you, <laughs> Sel Step Aside 19, for the 100 bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank and you, and welcome. we are at 68 deaths, so... All yeah. right, I'm going to do something special for tonight's stream, but uh -huh. but before I do anything, you all have to promise me you're not going to spend your entire bankroll on this. Don't. You, can, you can't do this. You can't wager your entire earnings of Retro Pals Rolos on this. Uh, if you have a problem, go to gambler.org. Uh, they have more information, probably. <laughs> That's yeah, that's like... that's the one that they recommend here on Twitch when they give you uh, betting ads. They're all like, if you have a problem, betting.org. But we'll give you $5 to start for free. You better do it right now. <laughs> okay, we have a prediction. Okay. We are currently, by my estimation, about 60 to 70% of the way through the game, judging by the walkthrough. Uh, last time around, I got a total of 68 deaths. So, why don't you take a moment and think about what this is going to end up as. By the end of the playthrough, will I have died more than 100 times or less than 100 times? I'm going to make the prediction. This is going to go on for, I don't know, a minute or two. Mm -hmm. so, so think about it. Think hard. Alex, what would your prediction be? I would say it's going to be over 100 deaths. I'm sorry. I think we're going to be in for some pain, personally. <laughs> Are we? I just, it's just how I feel in my heart, and you can't get mad at me for that. Okay, option one. More than 100. <laughs> option two. Less than 100. I'm sorry people in chat are predicting more than 100 already. You have That's a chance funny. to really, really make a huge gain. You're, this is your chance to win the stock market. <laughs> 
<laughs> if I manage to pull through, consider that the latter half of the game may be easier because I have more health, I have more defensive items. Mm -hmm. uh, the last few levels may be easier than the previous few. I actually don't remember. This is going to be a surprise to me, too. I don't have a, an outcome in mind. So please, please, <laughs> please bet uh, reasonably on this. All right. Submission period is going to end in two minutes. Uh, okay. We're doing it. Wand of Gamelon will be finished with more than 100 deaths or less than 100 deaths. Let's go. You have two minutes. All right, I'm predicting. <laughs> well, you know what I you know how I feel. That's all. I'm not yeah, yeah, that's all. I'm not I'm not Oh, I can't. They won't let me. They're like, "You're Yeah, you're a fucking moderator. You can't do this. This is illegal, you know." Is this <laughs> I'm actually going to wait till we uh finish up the prediction before we start playing. Okay, okay. God knows the second I start up the game, I may die ten times in a row and throw everyone's bets off uh, off kilter. All right. I'm watching. I'm making a mental note of who voted one and who voted two. Oh, wow. That's a lot of Rolos. We don't often do these. <laughs> Quote your favorite YouTube poop. One, eight, hundred, ass cake. You know, there were a lot of YouTube poops posted to our Discord today. That was good. It's looking like it's more one than two. Sorry, honey. The true believers, if they if they win this one, they're going to win big. They're going to have so many bans, and I'm going to tell them to spend it all on you. Yeah, that's fair. If you win big on this, make sure that you spend all your, your ill-gotten points on banning Alex. Betting my cat's college fund on no! this. No! What college are you sending your cat to? If it's UT, then we're sorry. But if it's like Arizona State, then I then then that's fine. They, you know, I'm taking those. <laughs> we have 20 seconds left. The tension is mounting. We're all betting on the ponies. We're all hoping the ponies uh, either finish the race or <laughs> don't finish the race. <laughs> Must be hard to play uh, with a CDI controller when you've got hooves. Yeah, a little bit. You don't know the Satyr community here on Twitch. That's true. Oh God! You're <laughs> All right, right, we are locked in with fifty-eight percent of the vote going for more than a hundred deaths, forty-two percent going with fewer than a hundred deaths. Okay. It looks like there's about uh, oh my God, there's almost a million Rolos in play. <laughs> Holy shit! There's literally like 960,000 Rolos on the line. Oh my god. Well, better flush it all down the toilet. Let's play the game. <laughs> okay. We're starting at 68 deaths. Uh, I'm sure y'all can count along. I won't try to waste deaths in order to, uh, you know, uh, backtrack or whatever. I'll try to minimize them. I'll try to play well. I won't throw for content. I'm not going to get my legs broke over this. Don't Don't break Danny's legs. All right, here we go. Zelda, the Wand of Gamelon, the final chapter. We're actually going to do this. Oh, God, I have to play this. <laughs> Hold on. It wasn't until I picked up the controller I realized, ah, oh, shit, this isn't just something I'm going to be watching. I had to actually influence the outcome. This sucks. This is why people watch Twitch instead of stream. <laughs> okay, let's go. Now, I told Alex about this before the show, but we're going to reload a save state that we recorded last time. Mm -hmm. It may do a funny trick where it flashes the screen at a million miles a second, in which case I told Alex to just uh, repeat the function until it doesn't do that. Okay. Do you want me All to right. load it now? Yeah, hit F7. Now hit Z. Do it again. <laughs> there you go. Okay. We're in there. We did it. All right. We're starting up with 68 deaths, ready to resume our grand journey through... Uh, Gamelon? Gamelon. Gamelon! Alright, Alex, where are we going? Sakado! Now, last time around, we finished up Taikogi Tower. Mm -hmm. We freed the baker, and we're actually gonna meet up with him. Mm -hmm. Let's find out if his cake's burned. We gotta go to the, uh. Go to the third house. 
This is going to be a marathon. At one point in the walkthrough, it says, oh, by the way, go grind for 600 rupees. Oh, I'm glad you saw that part, because I, <laughs> I didn't want you to be uh, to be fucked up when that happened. Hey, there he is. Talk to him. Look at his marvelously rendered bakery. I really like this bakery. Would I want to live would here. Would go here? I would go here. Yeah. Your Ooh. friend Link could eat 10 of these. <laughs> At least. Ha. The Arpagos will die for them. The Arpagos, they like bread, apparently. Okay. Does he say something different if we poke him again? Your friend Link could eat ten of these. <laughs> At least. Ha. That hog Link. Ha! Die for them. God, I love his animation. Keep being animated. <laughs> okay, All where right. are we going? Now we need to go back to the blacksmith and uh, use the heat crystal on the sword. Is the blacksmith in this town? Yeah, it's in Sakado. I think you have to go through the window to get there. Oh my god, this shit. Ugh, this game's such a pain so, in the ass. but <laughs> it could have been in the previous area too. But I, I love how much of a pain in the ass this game is. Thank it kind of rules. Thank you, Neo Zero, for the seven-month resub, and a happy god to you too. Hey, Neo Zero, thank you. Thank you. Is it through here? Does anyone remember where the, uh, the blacksmith is? I think is? it might be in the first part of town, if it's not in this part of town. Nope, there it is. We were right. It's, it's, it's here. All right, good. Okay, good. My gamer instincts are on point. Mm -hmm. Let's see. That ought to do it. <laughs> Works pretty good. <laughs> okay, good. Now this apparently gives us the power to shoot even without a full life bar. Nice. All right, we need to. Um... Go left, and then go into the house on the dock. The house on the dock. Might as well get some rubies while I'm here. Mm -hmm. Boy, let me tell you, it's nice to have more than three hearts. Yeah! <laughs> we played two hours of this game with three hearts, and enemy enemies can just generate the shit out of you. There's the Yes, in this on one, dock. where yeah. we haven't been yet. It's Impa. There she is. Impa, what's the Triforce say? Do you see anything? Yes? Oh my, your father has been captured. What about Link? He's been in a terrible fight. I can't tell what happened. Hmm. Uh, Some intrigue. Now, uh, go back the way you came. That's what I like to hear. And we're going to exit and go to Shitoy Lake. Shitoy Lake. Shitoy Lake. It's that. It's that's only in the context of YouTube poop. She's not actually a racist lesbian. <laughs> YouTube just poops clear, are not canon. Just want to clear that up. YouTube poop should be canon. Otherwise, Doctor Rabbit would have been canceled decades ago. What's he been up to anyway? I don't know. I think Colgate finally gave up on him. Cool. Remember when they were mad and taking down people's videos? No, I don't. That's so funny. Dr. Rabbit belongs to the people. The people made him racist. Oh my, the Triforce says shit. Uh, what's our item situation looking like? I fucking hate this. <laughs> Having to grind for rubies in this game is kind of the worst. I'll go ahead and buy some more ropes, I suppose. You always need more of those. Let's buy a shit ton, actually. Okay, where are we going to next? Uh, Chitoy Lake. There. You're gonna wanna go into the second hut and take the key. This is a new area. The doggo! Oh my god, I got, I got fucking harvested. You got generated. I got fucking blended. Okay, what are we doing in here? I'm oh, get take the key. Get the key. Surprise enemies coming to kill me. The game loves that. Now you're gonna exit the hut and go into the last hut, and then um, try to stay as high as you can. Always do, my man. <laughs> there you go. 
That is 69 deaths, officially. 69! Wait, is it 70 now? 70? Okay, 70 deaths. Oh yeah, because you did die that one. Th okay. Alright. It was the summer of 69. I Sorry. That song. I do too. Mostly because. Okay, because historically, the summer of 69 in American history is infamously bad. It's one of the worst years in history. It well, was... in, in Canada, where Brian Adams is from, it was quite delightful. Well, he's... He's love having, wrong. Love having to platform up these murals that they've drawn for us. Impa's here again. Yeah, talk to Impa. I see the, uh, the Brian Adams contingent is banning us. Okay, that's fair. Oh, dear. Whose robe has captured Lady Alma? I'm not afraid of you. Ha! Then wait here until you are. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> All right, go out the door on the bottom. What did she get trapped by? A bunch of, like, uh, styrofoam popcorn? Door on the bottom. Door on the bottom? Okay, you got it. Hey, what was my guess for Tess coming out? Was it half an hour? Uh, it was, yeah, half an hour. It's been 17 minutes. Hi, girl. Okay, I win my bet. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Dutch, you gotta go. We're just betting all over the place tonight. Welcome right, welcome so, to Racetrack Pals. Okay, so let me read what you gotta do next first. Uh, yeah. Now you must ride the alligator. Oh. Jump off it when you get to the other side and go right. That's and what I love to hear. Into the door. I love hearing that we have to ride an alligator. You have to jump up and off it, apparently. Hey! There's freaking fish! <laughs> Hey. hey! Hey, look at that! I did it without dying. You said go in this door? Yeah. Now, go up using ropes when necessary. I'm glad I bought those ropes. Hey, I have some bread here. <laughs> oh yeah, the bread! Do I go feed the uh, the Gamelon ducks with this? Um, no. What you're going to want to do is, once you go up, go in the middle gray door. Now, while you do that, I'm going to get Tess out. Come on, Tess, let's go. Okay. We're letting the cat out. Shit. <laughs> you love to hear it. Duh, shit. Come on, Tess, let's go. We gotta try this again. Okay. Come on, Tess. No, oh, okay. Tess has retreated back into the closet. <laughs> She's decided to be a bad cat instead of a good cat. Meow, meow, meow. That's okay, it's just another difficulty modifier. It's not like I'm trying to entertain a whole bunch of people here. Yeah. Well. Middle door. Made it. Carefully drop down the left side, staying as far to the right as possible. Phew. Next, jump across the chasm and go in the lower door. Whoop. Did it. It's going well, it's going well. Mm-hmm. Go down to the other door and wait in front of the water fountain for the Moblin Spear Thrower to appear. Kill him and then take the key that he has. Mm, okay, done. Go in the door. I'm doing the duck walk. Now, defeat Wizrope <laughs> by moving all the way to the right side of the screen. Done. Oh. Go all the way to the wa Oh, never mind, you did it. <laughs> way ahead of you. Uh, use a rope to get up to the second floor. And then go in the door. Not the disintegration spell! Glah! Use a bomb on the skull wall. <laughs> There's a skull wall! Okay. Here. I've saved you. Yeah, hit her. Link told me about you. You know Link? Sure. He gave me his canteen for a kiss. You kissed him? What? Here. It's empty anyway. Link, what the fuck? Link, you giving away kisses? Your kiss was on my list. All right, leave. Go to the back to the fairy pool and talk to the fairies. Hey, fairies, you believe what Link did? That fucking hussy. 
Link just wants all the kisses. All right, uh, talk to the fairies again. Where are those fairies? And can I get there without a rope? Probably. I love jumping in this game. You look fun when you jump. She's like a little bunny rabbit. Whee! Hey, remember when this area was full of things that just killed me instantly? Yeah, that really sucked. Hey, use fairies. Why is it hairy? Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, why is it hairy? You may you may use the canteen only once before you must refill it, although you may refill it and use it as many times as you need to. Oh, sick. And now you know about the canteen. All right. Now we go to the Dome Palace. The Dome? Mm-hmm. Yeah, very 70s van art background. I'm going to talk to Impa. I don't like this area. Any area that has alligators in it, I instantly mistrust. Got bad news for you. We're not going to have to cross in the gators, right? Right? Got bad news for you. Oh my god. All right. All right, talk to Impa. Look how your father was captured. You are my prisoner. Hey! Silence! Hectan, keep the runt in chains. Yes, master. Yo, that guy look cool. Hey! Sorry. <laughs> There was some real strong opposition to putting the uh, the king into prison. Alright, use a bomb on the school wall. <laughs> I... Why did it bounce off the first time? Who knows? Right. Who can even say? Ride the alligator, jump off onto the rocks, and go to the right. Alright, this should go perfectly fine on the first try. This game is a freaking trial. This is a true test for master gamers. Is this, is this, a, is this a thing I can jump on? I yeah, guess so. This is a tunnel. Why are the Zoras breastified? Use bombs on the soldiers. Okay. I'm gonna have to restock. Not the bread! The soldiers don't deserve my bread. These things just, they just respawn forever. Okay, well, lesson learned. Death count 72. You don't have to read it like that. You're right, I don't. That was, <laughs> I, I apologize. That was uncalled for. <laughs> nice. Get the key. Go in the door. Climb the stairs. And then use the rope on the ceiling to bypass the rest of the stairs. D. What's with the D? Uh, Delta. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was it that you said? Delta just made me forget everything. Delta, okay, um, let's see. Climb up the curtain rope, go in the door. Okay. Delta. Climb the stairs. Oh, this looks like hell! Cool! And then use the rope to bypass the rest of the stairs. <laughs> 73! <laughs> keep counting. I'll keep winning. Yeah, this is a real Dark Castle sequence. <laughs> if, if these things drop on me while I'm climbing the ladder, oh my god, they do fall on you while you're on the ladder. Stop it! No! Oh. <laughs> okay, so you, you missed what I said, but... Oh, no! Oh, man. Um, you don't have to do the second part of the stairs. You can just use a rope. Oh! I said, yeah. Yeah. I wanted, to, I wanted to impress you. That's okay. I'm easily impressed, so I get it. Hear my cry of pain. Dwah! All right, we used some bombs, and uh, actually pretty good on ropes. I think we're good on ropes, yeah. I kind of want to buy more, though, because I know I'm going to fuck this up. Don't forget, we have to also save up for, like, a 
bunch of rupees at one point. Okay. You mean rubies. Rubies. You're right. You're right. You're right. I got to get on the on the train here. Oh, we got to do this whole sequence again. I think you can do it. You're you're getting you're getting really improved at Zelda the Wand of Gamelon. I'm getting really improved. You are. You're you're going to get a little certificate that says most improved. <laughs> Who's going to mail it to me? Uh Impa. Okay. Oh my! This certificate says good. That's that's the YouTube poop version of me being rewarded. I was gonna say it. the YouTube poop version is the only version you know of anything. <laughs> it's true. I'm seeing the original for the first time. Nice. Uh oh. No wait. I think I know my way through here. You do. I can see in the dark. All right. No. No. Okay. Nice. All right. All right. All right. Now we got to light up this joint. The great thing about using the lantern is you can only use items when you're not in front of a door because otherwise the, uh, the item use button makes you go through the door. And did you see how big that door was? Fucking. Okay. That's okay. You're going to start full health. And when you get to the top here, use your rope. Yeah. Phew. Okay. Yeah, and then use the rope up here. There you go. Oh, it's so easy. Mm -hmm. Death count 75, huh? All right. Okay. Go up and to the right as high as you can while avoiding the spells. Get as close to Hecton as you can, but don't cross the gap and slash at him with a sword. Okay. Jesus Christ! It's hard. <laughs> those things, those things do a lot of damage. And it looks like we need to hit him with the actual sword and not the sword beam. Mm. 76. Fuck! No! We still have a chance. We I, do! I still say this is going to be under 100 deaths. just that all of them are going to be here. I, I wanted to do this to build suspense, you know. No, that's good. That's that's for that's good television. Good television, bad stream. Well. How many times have the TV greats died live on stream on TV? You know, that's not how many times as is... many times as you think, but it has happened. How many times has Bob Hope, the legendary Bob Hope, died on TV? Other than the once. I don't think that was on TV. No, it wasn't on TV. Okay, if I can climb up this part without getting killed, we may be in business. Amazing. All right. I got this. Switch to ropes. Why don't you let the cat out? Cause okay, now she wants she out. She suddenly decided that now she wants out. <laughs> Can't believe this animal. I love her. <clears throat> okay, this is the time. This is it. We got this. We got this by the ass. Okay, go up the stairs, use the rope. You got this. No. You're alive, though. Okay. Okay. We have three lives to deal with this asshole. Hmm. I wonder if your shield can block this thing. Does the magic cloak do anything? I'm probably going to get killed on purpose here because we only have one heart anyways. Die! Oh fuck! You killed me. Good. <laughs> wow! That was fantastic. There it is. The best cutscene in the game. Go in the window. Good. Talk to the man. 
Oh, that's the the prince's the the, the king's guard who got yeah. tied up. The guy who said, "Hey." Duke Uncle betrayed the king. Uh. I know. Strike the head of the portrait to enter Uncle's chamber. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Why is this shot like a horror movie? <laughs> All right. Uh, go back to the main door where you climbed the curtain rope. Okay. Duke Onklid betrayed the king, the guy we were supposed to help. The twist. I can't believe he betrayed the king. Would you betray the king, Danny? Um, no, he's the one who can give us dinner. Oh, yeah. I wonder what's for dinner. Octorox or whatever. Oh, yeah. Do you think they eat Octorox? Yeah. They're I just think. octopus. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'd eat that. I'd eat a lot of octopus if I could. Do you think they eat Zoras? That's weird. To yeah, me. that would be that would be unethical. Never eat anything that can talk in a, a language you can understand. Pigs are okay. Okay, now don't don't Yes. Put on. Don't do what you were doing. You do this instead. <laughs> Um, use the magic cloak and walk past the hand. You got it. Whoa, I look cool. All right. Go into the first door. <laughs> Is this Resident Evil now? Go into the first door. Go up the stairs and jump and slash at the painting. Oh, yeah, because he said the painting was the secret. Okay. Eh. Take the key. Go in the door. It's officially a mansion game, this door. Mm -hmm. Talk to the Duke. D don't hurt me, Zelda. I'll tell you the secret way into Resong Palace. You better talk fast. Go all the way left and move the rock. This key opens the gate. Huge! Make sure he doesn't get away. <laughs> That's a huge key. Get the key. Yeah. Zelda looked really blombie in that cutscene. She looked like a little dwarf. <laughs> get the key and then exit. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. I feel like we really accomplished something do. there. Let's go ahead and save state there. So that's like uh, death number fifty-four. I think we still have a lot of a lot of ground to cover. I think we're good. All right, was, actually, no. That was death forty-eight. Next, we're going to Nokani Forest. Nokani Forest. Yeah, it was only my third death. Okani Forest? It says N O K A. There it is. Alright. This is a weird looking forest. Look at this. That's fucked up. They got some Nausicaa shit going on here. Alright. Go up. The game's hard to control. Sorry. No, it's very hard <laughs> to control. Okay. We're going. We're going to go up and then you're going to go to the left. You got it. Through the mountain crevasse. And keep going left as far as you can. And you should be able to see a hole in a tree. Oh, fuck's sake, okay. Yeah, you gotta get that guy. <laughs> Where are the platforms? Okay, I see the hole in the tree, but. Okay, I'm reading this here, okay. Go up. Go left as far as you can. Go in the hole in the tree. <laughs> okay. Oh, there you go. I found the magic pixel. Nice. If you lie about the deaths again, it's plus five. You can't just make up rules like that. All right. I'll stop lying, though. Um, climb the trees and then go into the hole at the tree at the top of the tree. What's with the eyeballs? Alex. It's, uh... You didn't tell me about the eyeballs. I, I didn't know about the eyeballs. It wasn't in the uh, game fact. No mention of eyeballs. Eh? You've got to be... F okay, thank you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Leave Zelda alone. She's nice. I don't know why I thought I could make that jump. It's okay. I was a little, I was a little overconfident. I'm not gonna lie. Do it. 
dude. We, we, we need some lamp oil. Call your buddy Morshu. Morshu! What up? You know what? Just kill me. This is for the best. So I don't waste uh, inventory. I'm not doing that on purpose. Trust me. Of course. Death count 78. It's starting to look a little tense. I'm just going to use another rope up here. Fuck you! That's fine! Here? Yeah. Alright. Climb the trees and talk to the woman. Oh, God, okay. <laughs> it's always climbing trees with this shit. Duff. It's daylight outside! <laughs> I know. How is it dark? It's so clearly daylight. <laughs> this is the famous Philip CDI day for night scene. No, I may not. Here? No. Please. Uh oh. We may be in trouble. Oh? Oh? Okay. It's okay. I found a new platform. Okay, we found a new platform. Hey, who turned off the lights in this forest? <clears throat> This game is really living up to its Zelda 2 lineage, just in terms of difficulty and the amount of shit that overwhelms you constantly. We have three lamp oils. Let's make this shit count. Talk to her. This light will penetrate the dark around Ganon, but only the wand can defeat him. Good luck! Use okay. one more rope to hit to get the top tree branch. Get out of here. We're out of here. And now it's time to grind for 500 rupee. rubies. Have fun. Okay, Alex. Uh, earlier in the fact, they told you a place where you could go do that. Why don't you uh, tell me about that? Okay, Chitoy Lake. Go to Chitoy Lake. Uh, why don't you save me first? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the fun part. We're gonna grind. Stay at the far left side of the screen and throw your sword repeatedly. Approximately 10 shots each to kill the two Dodongos. Just keep on doing that. Ooh, they drop a lot. That's a... Yeah, go all the way there and then just keep... Just like exit and re-enter? No, no, but I meant stay on that side. Keep going into the hut there and then going back out. Oh, yeah, that would be easier to go in and out of the hut. Okay. Let's see how many rubies these things give us. We have 68 right now. Pretty oh. good. Pretty good. We can do this. We can do this. This will just take a couple minutes. Oh, going to the map refills health too. I see. I see. I'll have to do that. <laughs> they just roll in like little tanks. I'm going to go ahead and exit. I don't want to die any more than I have to. <clears throat> How much did it save to save up for? 400 to 500. All right, we're going for 500 rubies. I bet you this shit's not even necessary. But I don't want to. You want to risk it? I don't want to risk it. I refuse to risk it for the biscuit. You know, you wouldn't like high roll biscuits. What do you think they're like? Are they good? Are they like hard pack? They're made of fucking... They don't have wheat over there. They just have, like, a, a slime. Have you heard of this Hyrule slime? 
No. What's it like? Is it tasty? No, it's slimy. It's horrible. I don't know why they eat it. I guess I it's because... the CDI. We are CDI stands in this household. I guess it's because they're elves. Elves will eat anything. Elves eat a lot. They eat like bugs and shit. Some member of the elf community is going to come in here and be really <laughs> pissed off. Elves, if you want to get mad at us... Yeah, that's cool. High roll slime tastes like circus penis. I agree. That's disgusting. Well, life is disgusting. They make their hot dog buns out of that shit. And the hot dogs themselves are made of Dodongo meat. What? Ew. And they kill Dodongos by throwing bombs at them because they dislike smoke. It gives them a nice uh, smoky flavor. I was going to say, I bet Dodongos taste nice and like... Mm, like barbecue. Yeah, you ever been to a Dodongo barbecue? That sounds really good. I'm sorry. I'm I'm I messed up. That sounds delicious. Some Texas style Dodongos. Get some of that Dodongo jerky. Oh, that sounds good. No. <laughs> oh, you're doing good. That we're at 218. Yeah, we're like halfway there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Out of all the Zeldas I've played, this is probably my, uh, yeah, it's in the top ten. I've only ever played, like, less than ten Zeldas, though. Also, Link Faces of Evil is another one of them, so that's also in the top ten. That, yeah, I could see that being in your top ten. Zelda's Adventure I wouldn't put in my top ten. Wow. Even though it's among the, uh, the ten that I've played. I'm pretty sure I'm going to encounter another Zelda that's better than that. Zelda's adventure is awful. I'm good. What I'm going to do, I'm going to exit to the map. Just make things nice and tense for the death counter. See, I can conserve. Mm-hmm. Would you say Zelda's Adventure is your least favorite Zelda game? Um, no, that would be Breath of the Wild. Wow! Da -da 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 -da. I was going to say, I don't know. <laughs> Chad is freaking out at you. <laughs> this is what happens when you have to kill like too many to don't. Yeah, that's fair. You have to kill 20 Dodongos, this is what happens to your brain. I played like two hours and they give me a leaf. Wow, thanks. Thanks for the leaf. <laughs> what am I going to do with this shit? <laughs> You're right is the thing. Oh, they do just give you a leaf. <laughs> Some ancient hero. Hey, hero, you're going to save the world. Here's a really big leaf I found. This is sure to help you. So Great, I'm naked and starving. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just thinking of the show Naked and Afraid, but it stars Link. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen the show, but I assume it's just someone who's naked and afraid, which is most of people, I think. Most of us are naked and afraid. Yeah. What do we got? We're naked in some way. We've got a little bit more grinding to do. Okay. What are the Zeldas I like? Let's focus on the good. Yeah, let's let's go positive. I like I like Zelda one. I really like Zelda 2. Zelda 2 is my favorite of them all. Uh, Link to the Past is okay, but I played it too much. Link's Awakening, really good. I've only ever beat that once. I kind of want to play through it again. You should. Um, oh, Link Between Worlds I really liked. Uh, what else did I play? Didn't like Ocarina of Time. Didn't like Twilight Princess. Fell asleep playing Wind Waker. Uh, Question, did you literally fall asleep? Yes. That's so funny, Danny. That's the way it should be. Look, I like playing games where you're a little knight throwing stuff at little ghosts. The, the Zelda series almost gets that. It just doesn't have the little ghosts. 
You're just a little ghost freak. Yeah. That's my rap name. <laughs> I had to have played more Zeldas than that. There, there was more than ten Zeldas, right? Yeah. What, what others exist? Fish I have a cap. I, Oracle of Ages, Oracle of Seasons. Oh, those are so boring. The one where Link dresses up as a cheerleader. Really? Yeah, you know that one with the four guys in it. The four, the four <laughs> Alex, legs. I think that was a porno you saw. <laughs> oh, it was Link dressing up as a cheerleader. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Triforce uh -huh. heroes, thank you. Dresses up as a cheerleader and there's a bunch of guys there. I see. It's normal. Normal cheerleader outfit. Mm-hmm. Don't ban me, no! That's normal! Yeah, I think that's a Brazzers thing. Anyway, I hate more Zeldas than I like, I suppose. Yeah, you're like the <laughs> anti-Zelda. Okay, let me let me let me make it clear. I don't hate, I'm just kind of bored and uninterested in most Zeldas. People denying the Zelda game existed. Ooh, Hyrule Warriors. That was a great game. Warriors. Especially the Wii U version where each player got their own screen. See, that they need to make more Musou where each player gets their own screen. Oh, and the um the multiplayer GameCube one, the insane one, I like that one. Oh, that one is good. Okay, where are we at? 516, that nice. good enough? Yeah. See, that didn't take long at all, and all I had to do was ruin the entirety of my gamer cred. <laughs> to the Shrine of Gamelon. Alright, save me if you would. Alright. Also, save me from the crowd of people with pitchforks and uh, torches Wrong coming after me. me. The what of what? Shrine of Gamelon? Shrine of Gamelon. Use the purple magic cloak to walk past the fireballs without taking damage. Okay. And then talk to Impa. Oh boy. Dear, Omfak is guarding the shrine. Whatever I see, I shall devour. <laughs> <laughs> Alex? Hello. Okay, so <laughs> go up to the top of the cave and go through the passage. Oh, shit. I thought that was the passage. Nah. I deserve this. I have a feeling I have a feeling that those are instant death and then once again you gotta use the magic cloak to get past the fireballs okay go up the middle section of rocks when you come to a three way intersection I used up a hundred rupees already yeah what did you what was the last instruction uh go up the middle section of rocks when you come to a three way intersection okay you got it A three-way intersection of rocks, you say? I think that's it, yeah. Oh! Ow! Okay. Okay. When you're up as high as you can, use the green magic cape to jump the chasm. <laughs> I like how this game looks, too. The, the backgrounds are nice and painterly. Yeah, it's an interesting choice, for sure. There's a storybook quality to this. Not sure what kind of storybook <laughs> that would entail, but Bad would, you, one. would you read your kids the storybook Golden Book's take on uh, Wand of Gamelon? Yeah. Hell. Okay, so engaging that item makes you automatically jump. Herp. You're good. <laughs> Nice. Okay, now what do I do? Okay, now, um, climb up to the top of, to the top and enter the shrine. Into the shrine. And then you're going to jump and hit, uh, a guy. And then you're going to jump and hit a guy. With your sword. Oh, it's the wolf man. Eh. In 
the head. Got nice. him. Whoa. Got him. That was nice and normal. We found the wand of Gamelon. We, we are did it. In the final stretch of the game, Danny. Okay. What was with that guy who like turned birds into like chickens and ate them and then he exploded into birds? <laughs> are we ever going to get an answer? They want you to have 300 to 400 rupees and you're going to go to uh you're going to go to Sakado and you're going to uh, stock up on literally everything. You got it. That part could have taken me a while. No, you're actually doing real good this time. This time. You were, it was just that you got stuck in the swamp last time. Yeah, that's that's me. Fall. I'm always getting stuck in the swamp. You're I mean, just the crazy swamp bear we all know and love. Not now. I'm a crazy swamp bear who hates most games that everyone universally loves. You may do this under 100 deaths, Danny. You sound surprised. Well, because this is really difficult. It's pretty difficult. Do they say how many items each you need? No. That's helpful. <laughs> How about we just get 20 of everything? I think that's smart. And then grind more. Yeah, and then do a little grinding for rupees. People are like, Danny, die more. And Danny, die less. <laughs> <laughs> this could go either way. I remember the, uh, the last part of the game being pretty challenging. Okay. So now we go back to, what was that place to grind? Uh, that would be Chatoy Lake. Chatoy Lake. Lake. Shitty Lake. Ricky Lake at Shitty Lake. Sorry, Ricky Lake is... Who remembers Ricky Lake? Like, does any... <laughs> I'm sure she's still doing... I don't know what she is. Which of you twisted kids would watch uh, daytime talk shows? I you... did! And you were fucked up forever because yeah, of it. Yeah, I watched... I watched all... I love Ricky Lake. I don't remember... I don't know why. I also watched Jenny Jones until... Well, you know. Yeah, Jenny Jones! What about Montel Williams? Uh, I'd watch the Montel. Wait, is it is it Williams or Jordan? One of them did This Is How We Do It. The other was Jordan a talk show host. Jordan did This Is How We Do It. Williams okay. did the talk show. <laughs> Who did uh, Return of the Mac? Um. Was that a talk show host? No. I also watched. I watched all the talk shows in the early '90s. Why? I don't know. They were on. I think Mark Moore. We're thinking of a lot of people today. Yeah, yeah. Mark Morrison was the famous talk show host. All right, keep going. You got this. You say 300 rubies? 300 to 400, it says. So I would, I would go closer to 400 knowing this guy. Can't Zelda use her riches? No! She has to work. She has to do it on her own with no help from friends, no help from Facebook. No game genie. No help from collectors that she knows. <laughs> You and know, our, Danny, and our I, first stop is all like, oh, my friend here gave me 500 rubies. <laughs> what were you going to say? Oh, you know, life doesn't have cheat codes or a game genie. I've it's heard, true. I've heard that from a billion different things. In Triple X, uh, Vin Diesel said there's no Prima strategy guide to life. <laughs> they should. There should be. Actually, I think that wasn't in the movie. That was just in the deleted scenes. That wasn't the deleted scenes. Danny, we've been quoting deleted scenes from Triple X and each other for so long. <laughs> See, if you bought the, the Blu-ray of Triple X, you'd be screwed because you wouldn't know our references to the Prima Strategy Guideline. Does the Blu-ray not include the deleted scenes? Blu-rays are shit now. They don't include anything. They really don't. They're just like, ooh, here's a really good quality of a movie and nothing else. Yeah, it's true. I hate Blu-rays and I hate Twilight Princess. Anything else you want to get up out there now that you're in the hate zone? Um, what's the most popular game out now? Uh, either Starfield or Baldur's Gate Three. What's that? I don't know. Baldur's Gate Three. Uh, it's it's like a it's it's a 
It's a it's it's a role playing game. It looks like Dragon Age to me. Yeah, it looks like that. And then and then the other one is like Bethesda Space Game, I think. Yeah, it's the third Baldur's Gate game. That makes sense. Oh, okay, that explains it. Yeah, okay. You have sex with a bear in Baldur's Gate 3? Hang on. Okay. Everyone's been burying the lead. <laughs> like, you just say, oh, Baldur's Gate 3 is out. That doesn't mean anything to me. What the fuck does that mean? If you say you can have sex with a bear in it, that means something. Bear sex game. 329. Let's get 350. Okay. <laughs> Burying the lead. There you go. Listen, <laughs> They I... wouldn't shut up about it? I haven't been reading the right gaming sites. You haven't! You need to read bearsex.org. I gotta read bearfuckers.com. Can you fuck the bear? <laughs> <laughs> no one cares about petting the dog anymore. Thank yeah. you. I'm gonna okay. say this is enough. This is enough, yeah. Okay. Let me head out here. And... Final part, we're going to Resong Palace. Why don't you save me? Absolutely. That would be shift of seven. I think we're at four? Yeah. Four. Alright. Resong Palace, eh? There's a lot of palaces, a lot of forests, one memorable swamp. Use the purple magic cloak when necessary. Go right down the ladder and then left. Okay, that's a pretty open-ended uh, walkthrough. <laughs> Just use it when necessary, but yeah, sure. Look at that beautiful sunset. It is! It's really pretty! It's a vista reminiscent of Breath of the Wild. See, I'll meet you fans halfway. It is a pretty game. I like Breath of the Wild, but like, I also just like grinding a lot. That makes sense. I, 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 when I, I actually never finished it. I kind of gave up at one point. <laughs> Good. Walk on by. Just walk on by. Okay. All right. All right, Impa. Impa. It's too dark to see Ganon, but the Triforce says you can only win by falling. I wonder what that means. You can only win by falling. I wonder what that means. Go left until you come to a bridge, and then use the rope to get on the bridge, and then go left. Okay. Well, we got to take the bottom path. Hey. Ooh. Oh boy. D hey! D come on! I used the thing that made you invincible! Video game! I'm trying to play by your rules here. So much shit! Where am I going? R up. Rope on bridge. Rope on bridge. Oh god. Okay. Then to the left? Yeah. I see that boulder used a power glove on it. Okay, you got it. Oh shit. Okay, do you see what's happening there? Yeah. My sword is hitting the rock and not the enemies, so I very quickly need to use this power glove, or else I'm going to be generated, like, instantly. Okay, we did it. What's the last new game I played? I played... Fuck! That's that's on Steam. It's adult-oriented. I was going to say, <laughs> I, I think I've seen that game on Newgrounds. I played Balan Wonderworld. That is the newest game, Danny! No, I played uh, Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line for PS4 just the other day. Oh, good. And I have a copy of Elden Ring that I haven't played yet. What do I do in here? Okay. Now in here, let's see. You're going to go over. Let's see. You're going to use the cloak and go up. Uh, let's see. Go 
go over to the door and go in it. In the door. Mm -hmm. I can do the duck walk. <laughs> Zelda should make that noise. Fuck, the long-awaited sequel to Oh Shit. Alright, use the cloak and go up. Speaking of Oh Shit, I'm gonna die here so I can refill my health. This is a tactical death. Oh Shit 2 with new elves. Going up. Jesus Christ. Am I in bullet kill heaven or bullet hell? Head, you see. See kill the guy? second floating head? Okay, yeah, you got him. it. Got a key to give you. Oh, you think I need a lantern for this? Yes. Fuck. <laughs> I almost nice. did it. I was right at the door. <laughs> I've done it. Okay. Uh, go right until you come to a pit. It's gotten pretty good at the sword play in this. Mm -hmm. I call it sword play like it's a, <laughs> a skill you need to learn. You say go all the way up and right. Uh, drop into the pit. Into the pit? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Impa said the only way to, to win is to go down. Jump off a pit. Okay. And then drop again when you land. You now should be on a drain platform. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Drop down a third time and climb the rocks to your right. Okay. Okay. Then climb up the ladder. I could have... Yeah, I know. I, I'm mad that they did that. <laughs> you were just reading what was in front of you. Let's do that again. How many deaths is this? Chat, how many deaths was that? Oh, all the way back here. Oh, blah. Uh, 83, okay. I love this game. It's cool. definitely better than all the other Zeldas. Maybe I should play the other Zeldas. Which Zelda do you want to play the most? Um... God, everyone loves the Wind Waker. I want to give that one a chance, actually. Okay. That one looks like the most fun. Nice. Made it. Let's talk to her again. It's too dark to see Ganon, but the Triforce says you can only win by falling. I wonder what that means. I wonder. What does it mean, Impa? Impy Dimpy? Oh, it's a big face back there. Yeah, what the hell? It's gross. Its mouth is open. Wah. <laughs> Who built that disgusting statue? I did. You like it? Yeah, nice work. Thank you. Arr, I hate video games. They're too difficult. This one's easy. You can even do the duck walk. I mean, that's true. Hey, look what's already open. Hey! Progress. No more getting generated. Danny can't appreciate art. It's Danny true. Danny can, in their own way. You shouldn't have to use a rope here, right? There's like a... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alex, these are gorillas. I know that because they're throwing boomerangs. Oh, I like the way they look. That's a Zelda thing I know. Ask me about Octoroks. Okay, what about them? Um, they're small octopus-like creatures that inhabit the overworld of Hyrule. Oh, okay. Have you heard about dark nuts? No, what about them? They nut in the dark. <laughs> Prove it. Oh, shit. That's what I was looking for. That's what they're called. 
I'm always going to be talking about Dark Nuts. I'm going to be like those freaks who always talk about Star Wars and Jizz. <laughs> who are... Who, which has officially been retconned now, so you can't randomly say that fun fact in Twitch chats anymore. <laughs> you can't just be like, it's called jizz, it's technically called that, George Lucas said it. No, he's, he, he denied it now, now that he knows what jizz is. He's like, oh no, that's, that means something different than I'd like. That's my George Lucas, it's really bad. Oh jeez, turns out jizz means cum. <laughs> okay, chat! I've also heard that jizz and jazz are different genres. And that jizz still exists. It's just that jizz is <laughs> still more boppy and We're just giving the trolls what they want. Yeah, we, should... we are. Okay, drop down, baby. Let's be more Let's be more uh, Christianly. No, okay. Anyways, <laughs> go up. Yeah. Use a rope to get up onto the platform. This looks complicated. Okay. This looks really complicated. You need to, you need to uh, use a rope to get up onto the platform and go right. Stay on the platforms. Kill the uh, boomerang thrower and take the key. It's a gorilla. Gorilla, that's what it said. I just. I read the parenthetical instead. Where am I going? You're supposed to stay up on those platforms, so use rope to get up again, and then kill that guy. <laughs> Death count, 86. 86. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, if you need me to do a save state, like, in this level, let me know. It may be better to just load state after a while, once I run out of rubies. Yeah and uh, items. I'm pretty sure I know what to do from this point on, though. This game is a trial. Even when you have more health, even when the levels are supposedly quote-unquote easier, it's still quite a challenge. I appreciate it. This is a CDI game that's not a pushover, unlike all those Sesame Street games for babies. Wow! I'm not save state scumming. There's nothing scummy about the way I use save states. I use them for purity. Jump the Dodongo. You can't. You can't jump the Dodongo. No. Much as I want to. What if I used a bomb? What if I quote unquote bombed the Dodongo? You know, <laughs> I have one life left at this point. Should I just... Do what you feel, Danny. I'm going to try to make it work. Okay. Try Instead of trying to take the easy way out, I should be fighting my demons instead of avoiding them. And by demons, I mean Dodongos. Hey, fighting your demons sucks. I was gonna say, your demons killed the shit out of you. All right, you want me to load state? No. Okay. okay. <laughs> 89 and doing fine. <laughs> Try a little harder. I didn't say it, chat did. Come take this, take this controller out of my hands. Let's see you do this. You think this is easy? Come down here and heckle me at my Twitch comedy club. You know how they turned the Ritz Alamo Draft House downtown into an anti woke comedy club? <laughs> what if we made what what if we did that with a, like another uh, beloved uh, landmark of Austin? <laughs> Folks! What? That's right. Emos is now the anti woke uh, cigar pub with gastro food. Gastro food. I don't know. I don't know what people eat now. It's an know. it's an anti woke axe throwing location. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, the Alamo Draft 
craft house that was on Sixth Street, uh, the Ritz. They uh, Joe Rogan bought it, and it, it's it's the axes say diversity. No thanks. No, it's really. <laughs> Sorry, if you've never been to the Alamo Draft House, they have a bunch of signs that being like, hey, diversity is great and all, and don't, don't be weird. But now I guess they have to put up signs being like, be weird, be fucking weird about it. <laughs> the freaking rocks. I'm okay. Are you okay? I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> I'm just thinking of all the all the many beautiful landmarks of Austin that can get bought up by podcasters I hate. Cartman, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, thank you. Love those bats. Yeah, they're going to destroy the bat bridge. They're gonna... <laughs> fighting that Dodongo, not the right not the right move. Not the right move fighting that Dodongo. So we fight the first one, do not fight the second one. Okay. Or actually I think we can outrun this. Like you just go up here. You can avoid the second Dodongo entirely. Mm -hmm. Live a Dodongo free lifestyle. There you go. Someone asked you if you'd been to Joe Rogan's comedy club. What an awkward moment. <laughs> uh, no, but I really want to go. I'm really uh, against the whole diversity thing, you know? <laughs> A hundred bits from Carmen let us know we have 90 deaths, so it's time for clocks now, all right. It is the 90s, and it's time for clocks. I hate these things are attacking you. Just shit comes out of nowhere constantly and murders you. See, I like that some of these enemies remain dead, but also... Yeah. There's still a whole lot to go. Okay. Go in the hole. Yeah, go down the hole. They got everyone here. The goblins, the moblins, the gobmogs. Goblins? The gobmans. Who are the goblins? Who are the goblins? Danny, have you heard? Fuck! I was gonna say if you've heard the album. Ah! <laughs> that was so loud, it made it, it sounded made it from Danny's mouth and not mine. <laughs> You put words in my mouth, literally. I, did. I put a hiss. I put a the, the grating. Screen. Okay, what's our what's our death count? Ninety two. Ninety two. This is this is coming a little bit closer than I'd like, but I still think we got this. How do I do this? Like, okay, the guy at the entrance is gone. The thing I have to worry about are the massive rolling uh, fire wheels. Yeah. And the bats. This reminds me of the last part of Haunted Castle, the arcade game. Another excellent game. What if I double back and go through the, the wheel? Would spawn more? I'm afraid it would. I'm gonna tank the damage from these guys. Because I'm pretty sure... What are you doing here? <laughs> he was I'm dead! Back. Why did he come back? No one invited you. Alright, this part I can do in less than two health. We just have to kill this first Dodongo and then tell the second one to go fuck itself. Shit. I fell unexpectedly. It's okay. Leave Danny alone. Was there a way to dodge that? <laughs> it just sort of carpeted the entire sky with Whoa. rocks. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do there. Oh, I could have jumped earlier. I could have jumped way earlier. What am I doing? I'm losing it. I, so you gotta... I had the whole world in my hands and I just crapped my pants. Live on Twitch.tv. 
Not even Toho would make you dodge that kind of bullet spray. Well, my name is Zelda. You may be wondering how I ended up in this situation. Well, so you could use the rope on that. Well, please, please just let me get to the good. The... <laughs> Jesus, please. Cartman 94 lets us know the hundred bits of Danny's die 94 times. Congratulations. Please, power. Jump up here. Don't not jump up there. There's no reason not to jump up there and get your ass handed to you by the freaking Dodongo. Go in here, which you previously opened with the power club. Go down here. That guy. See, I'm mentally downloading this part. Okay. Are you putting it in your mind palace? Yeah. I wish I had a mind palace. I've got a mind dumpster. <laughs> That's almost as good. Instead of just seeing all these words like running around my head, it's just a bunch of like old cans and in bags that I'll say like things like have a nice day or whatever. Oh, isn't that sweet? It's nice, yeah. Just want to say good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> I just, I was guessing that that's Amazing! where the door was. I was guessing that that's where that door was. Amazing play by Danny. <sighs> Don't forget, you've also got the, the water, the magic canteen. Oh, you're right. The canteen. Alex. Yeah. You're a genius. Am I? I forgot about the canteen. Cool. I can only use it once, though. Well, that's because I have the have a nice day, like, that's because the, the mind palace and the mind dumpster that I have. Death count, 95. The good news is we have a full three lives to do this part with now. And I know what to do. And I have a plan. And we know that the canteen is there. <laughs> I will never listen. <laughs> I will never listen to a single thing anyone tells me. I will bump my head against a solid rock for 12 hours in the attempt at finishing a game. I'm pretty sure they make you do that in Simon's Quest. So check this out. What do you think of that? does spawn another one, but the one looks way behind you, so I think you're good. This seems way less annoying. Smart. Smart move. Guy's back. Walk through his face. There you go. There you go. That's money right there. Mm-hmm. That's real money. We could sneak past the first Dodongo. Go up here, so we don't have to engage the second... Mm -hmm. And more fiercer of the Dodongos. That one has double speed. It's got a... It's got one of those boosts enabled. Nice, nice, nice. Nice! Nice! Okay, okay. we got past that part. Okay. It's the fairy lantern... Hey, we have unlimited lamp yeah, oils. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that nice? Okay, okay. <gasps> Why'd she do that? Zelda! We're supposed to be friends. Zelda gave you a heart attack. We're supposed to be working together here. Also, notice how she went through the door right afterwards, so I was on the right spot. The game was just being a turd. A flippin' toyed. Shit. Speaking of toids. She used a rope on the same frame that I entered a door. Because I had the rope selected. Now normally she'd only do that if you weren't in front of a door, but... 
Thank you, Sir Gawain, with a 23-month resub. Danny running one of Gamelon at GDQ when? No. That's not happening. Oh God, <laughs> There's so no. many people who are better at this game than I am. Why did the light go out after one second? Don't worry about it. What? Okay. <laughs> this game is turning against me. How many lives do I have left? I died once, right? All right. Chat says death count is 96. So I can afford to take another death before I have to use the canteen, and I want to get as far as I can possibly go. Fairy's trick. Yep. Want to be able to climb this without dying. Well, it was a nice wish. Good try! What if I just, like, waited? Nice! Nice! What are we doing here? Okay, you're gonna want to uh, kill the Gojiras and get the key. Gojira? Gojiras. <laughs> kill Gojira? That's kind of a... That's really hard! Kind of yeah, a tall order. Go there, stay up top, and then kill them. Kill them. Yeah. And then you're gonna want to kill a third one who's gonna have the key. Who's gonna be up there, yeah. Oh, you already have? No, you don't. Get the key. Now where do I go? Go back to the left and go back out the door you came in. Go down the ladder and jump over the drain platform. Go in. Go back to the pit again. Really? Yeah. Go down the ladder and jump over onto the drain platform. Press button two to go through the passageway. Go back to the pit again. All right. Is this the right place? Mm -hmm. We're going back to the pit. Now you might say one and a half hearts left. Might be a good time to use the, the water of life. Mm -hmm. You'd be right. Oh, okay. It still hurts. <laughs> We've used the canteen. Okay. It's all or nothing. Is Alex guiding me to the right place? Will Zelda end up saving the day? What do I do in the, the pit when I get there? Uh, you're going to go up and then left to the door once you get in the pit. This door? No, no. You, you gotta go back to the pit again. In this pit? I think so, yes. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. It just says, go back to the pit again, go up, and then left to the door. I'm willing to bet that that means don't go in the pit, just go up and left from here, even though that's unclear. I'm not blaming this on you, by the way. Because I haven't been in that door yet, in the upper okay. left. Well, I think, I think that's there. what the fact is trying to you say. got enough rope, so let's go there. You have to learn how to decode fact speak. I think this is what they meant. You dare yep. Bring a light Select the wand of Gamelon. You must die. Select the wand of Gamelon. <sighs> Go up the ladder and then throw the wand of Gamelon at a uh, at, at him, whatever his fucking name is. Got him. There you go. Ah, the chains. No! Climb up the chain and get the key. Ganon is dead. Get the key. Keep going 
going up until you get to the door. Game's not over yet. I could still die. There's mm -hmm. still stuff that can kill you in this room, I'm pretty sure. Going up. Keep going up. Good thing I brought some ropes. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Talk to the king. And with that, the Wand of Gamelon for Philip CDI is complete. We did it! Father! You saved me! Here's the traitor, your majesty. Please, your omnipotent... Have mercy. After you've scrubbed all the floors in Hyrule, then, then we can talk about mercy. Take him away. Yes, my liege. I wonder what happened to Link. Oh, he was a bore anyway. Stop looking at yourself. There he is. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, Link. We were just about to have a feast. Great. <laughs> <laughs> And with that, we've ended with a feast uh, pictured off screen. That's right. Zelda, the Wand of Gamelon for Philips CDI. Holy moly. How many, uh, you want to tell me how many deaths that was, just for posterity? For posterity, that was 97? 97 deaths. Under 100. Under 100. Under 100 deaths? Yep. Choose outcome. Fewer than a hundred deaths. Zelda, you conquered as under attack by the evil forces of Ganon. I'm going to There you go, everyone. Enjoy, Enjoy your money. points. <laughs> and thanks for believing in me. Yeah. You were almost wrong to do it. I came really, really close. <laughs> I came really, really close to disappointing y'all, but uh there we go. Enjoy your Rolos. That's a lot of Rolos. Use feel free to ban me. The bans are on me. Actually they're on you. You did it! They never did say what's for dinner. <laughs> the Octorok is implied, but come on. Did you eat I, I know, you said you didn't eat an Octorok. Then we talked about eating yeah. Octoroks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, that. Kirby, thank you for the 300 bits a while oh, back. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. We got some people donating bits. The Kirby gave us 300 bits, and Yaddle gave us 200 bits. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Whew. I didn't mean to cut it that close. It just happened to <laughs> to shake out that way. That, was good. that last segment. Whew. Right, I wasn't sure about that one. I came within like three hits away from <laughs> just completely shitting the bed. 68k heart. Thank you for the five gift subs. Yes, thank you. Welcome to Sub Club, everyone. Enjoy your remotes. Oh, Zelda. Hi. I'll show you how. Zelda, your lips. They're going crazy. to pick a place on the map. Uh huh. We went there then and there. One. I'll fly there in a flash. You Man, it feels good. Feels like I've done something good tonight. We'll do Faces of Evil at some point. Mm -hmm. I said in the uh, the Patreon post we do it in 2024 probably. Yeah. But I wanted to have a poll to determine which was the more important one to finish. And apparently it was this one. Mm -hmm. And y'all made the right choice. Boy, what a bunch of good cutscenes. There was the baker. There was good. I like good. When you move the controller down. When I'm crouching, I can walk like this. It's easy. Will this be rated as a platformer? Can we do that? Enter a door, move in front of it. We could. Press button two. Do, do you want to? We do have some extra time here. Okay, folks. Won't hurt anyone friendly. In fact, it I'll make this a poll, in fact. It's a special occasion. But I still have to sell the stuff. Just take what you want. I'll handle the rubies. Okay, dude. When you want to buy something from the merchant shop, touch it with the sword. The sword also picks up tools and rubies. Luckily, I have my magic pouch. I can carry as much as you want. To open the pouch, make me crouch down, and then press button two. Don't forget, I can only open the pouch when I'm crouching. To choose a the poll is live. Is Wand of Gamelon better or worse than Bubsy? 
Cast your votes now. This is now a Mascot Friday stream. Surprise! Surprise! In our big master list of platformers, there are many games that are better than Bubsy, many games that are worse. In your estimation, would you say this is better or worse? That's what we're asking you right now. Be sure you look for the special Triforce map in each area you conquer. Break the maps to Hell, I'll vote in this one. Okay. Your quest in and yeah, if you want to put your vote in chat too, give us an RP Angel Bubsy or an RP Devil Bubsy. And as as this poll concludes, why don't we uh, give me control of the uh, main menu, please? Okay. Let's go ahead and click End Game so we can see who made this wonderful thing. Yes, End Game. I need control again. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. I'm done with that. God bless animation magic. <laughs> you all made some unforgettable imagery. I don't know why this game looks like it does, but I'm glad that it does. From the kind of iffy platforming to the incredibly strange animation, I'd say this game has a charm. It has... it has something, you know? There's something there. This isn't just, like, unredeemably terrible. You can overcome the many challenges and beat this game in fewer than 100 deaths. I've proven it. But does that transfer into being better than Bubsy? That remains to be seen. Worse than Wayne's World. Okay. Do you think it's worse than Wayne's World? I don't think so. Okay. I really like this game. I had fun with it. It's frustrating. It's kind of uh, bad in some ways, I guess you would say. But man, there's just something about it. And it's not just the weird voice acting or the weird cutscenes. There's just the whole quest you go on. It's not... It's... Uh, what am I trying to say here? I like it. I like when games have animators that are credited by their first names only. <laughs> That's normal. It's good. It's a lot of animators. Oh yeah, good music, good backgrounds. There's a lot to this game. It's not the worst thing in the world. It is indeed playable, and it has that charm to it. But is it more charming than Bubsy? Oh yeah, like I said, uh, this is illegal. Yeah, uh, pay us 50k each. Mm -hmm. You have to pay the Retro Pals $50,000 and five years in jail time. <laughs> Oh, man, I feel really accomplished. I beat a video game this week. You did! And it was a pretty good one. In fact, as the poll wraps up, it looks like this is officially a good game. In the no. twisted, bizarro world of Retro Pals, it looks like Zelda The Wand of Gamelon is better than Bubsy. Are you kidding? Okay, you know what? <laughs> None of my business. I guess I made a good case here. Yeah, you can play this. You can have fun with it. It's a little frustrating, a little strange, and wonderfully bad but uh if you have the patience for this kind of thing i think you'll enjoy it so where is this going how far above bubsy are we talking i saw boogerman range and i think that's actually pretty fair for this yeah i don't think i can make much of a case for this game being very far above bubsy it'll just be like 10 places at most which i think is where boogerman is uh, yeah you okay let's check with sesame street county cafe is this better or worse than sesame street county cafe I don't know, that, that Grover, <laughs> he has it in a way that Zelda didn't. Hear me out. Below Sesame Street County Cafe, above Demolition Man. What do we say about that? I think that's a good place for it, personally. Can we live with ourselves? Happy, Happy with, with that? that. Yes, yeah. sure, let's do it. All right, put okay, it in. Okay, that makes it easy enough. That is... Easily chosen. Zelda. Zelda, the, the Wand of Gamelon. Of Better than Bubsy, exactly. if only just. We play a lot of games like this where it's just only better than Bubsy barely. But still, a win's a win. Storming the Retro Pals capital. No! No, no! <laughs> Demanding a change in the Mascot Friday results. Look, this is democratic. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to interfere with all the voters. It's their fault, not mine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It like wasn't even close either. It was like 60-40. I guess that's kind of close. All right. So what did we learn today? Uh, the Wand of Gamelon is cool and fun and funny and hopefully also fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. I had fun playing it anyway. Patrons, head to patreon.com slash retropals. If you're in the $5 tier, you get to tell us what to play next Wednesday. We're going to play jank arcade ports for ancient computer platforms. Your choices, Amiga versus Commodore 64. 
whatever wins, we're going to play a whole bunch of weird ass arcade ports for that particular platform. So choose well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us tonight. Alex is here to wrap us up while I look for a raid target. We are also on YouTube, youtube.com slash retro pals. We post full length highlights of our streams there, including our latest one, which, oh, oh, I knew. What, what was it again? Oh. It's a good one. It is uh, Hugo. Hugo. Yes, it was Hugo. Hugo the TV troll, a European, South American, international superstar. Never really had a presence in America, but he certainly had a presence overseas. So do check out that really interesting Hugo the TV troll uh, YouTube highlight. We also have a Discord. Let me just drop that link in the chat. Boing. There we go. You can join us in the Discord for chat talk about retro games talk about new games and of course your wonderful wonderful cat pics someone posted their cat in a bat costume so uh mega alert mega alert join join the discord that was that. such a good picture set it was a little black cat with little wings it was so cute it was so good and we also have a co-host co-host.org slash retro pals post when we go live there when we've got new stuff up on youtube and all the retro pals news you can use so do check us out there yeah why not yeah 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 do it mm -hmm. all right so we have something fun here we're going to raid Lynx Winters. Lynx has been going on eBay, buying up all those old rental sheets of instructions that would come with retro games. Yay. So they would often have wrong information about uh, the video games in addition to just making stuff up. One of these sheets that he bought claimed that Mario and Luigi had a rich uncle Asante. <laughs> So he's going through these sheets and trying to learn how to play video games using this insane information from like 30 or 40 years ago. Oh my god. Enjoy that. Have a good rest of your evening. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks.